deck building roguelike that remembers your choices. Let's get into it. I, in the past, unlocked a new character. I have the warrior already. I gave that a try previously. But we've unlocked the druid, and a new character has been added to the game that I plan on unlocking today as well. The rogue. So it should be pretty exciting. Uh, I really enjoyed this one the last time I took a look at it, and I want to see what else it has to offer, especially with new characters, because I know the dialogue kind of updates as you go along the more you fight, and, and uh, there's, some, there's something there to definitely explore. I want to get a better look in at it. One card of three to be out of the inventory. I'm curious, though, starting with a different character than the warrior, how it's going to go, because the warrior is pretty straightforward, right? you got heavy attacks and a lot of blocking. A druid, I'm not too sure how that's going to play out for me. You encounter a large, strange pillar protruding from the ground. It seems like it extends far below the ground. That's not natural. What is that? A buzzing fills the air. It seems like it is emitting something material. Cards are mine. Okay, so the druid is entirely focused on, I guess, different spirits and totems. I'm kind of curious how this is going to go as a starting position. Um, a little bit of a different way to build. Quite advanced compared to the warrior, but also has high combo potential. Gotcha. Yeah, I really was curious about how to stack spirits and uh, and manage this character last time. A 10 health bear totem with no effects. No effects. I feel like I want to get some spirits going early. Okay, 8 damage. If any spirit is active, remove it to gain plus 3 regen. Super heavy regen is an option here. The fox spirit. Spirit fox, 16 damage, 4 damage to a random other ally. So as long as I don't have an ally, I guess this isn't a bad one to start as a build. Does this... It's other ally, so it shouldn't hurt me. On activation, gain an additional foxtail up to nine. For each foxtail, your cards gain effectiveness. Wow. Okay, I want to try that. We'll throw that in. And the auto-battler elements of this game, there are some of those as well. So maybe I'll go into it. Once I get into a fight, I'll kind of explain how that, how that component adds up. Search through an old ruin for something useful, an item. So items, I believe, they're, they're sort of similar to relics or artifacts from other deck builders, except that these ones you can only hold four of, and you can sort of burn them to increase your stats as well. So, do I go that route, or do I get another card? I think we can manage with our current card set. Let's see if we get an item here. Old Ruins. Some items are really strong, to my understanding. Three strength, but lose three health every time you play a damage card. Okay. Right now, I'm not really built around healing at all, but... Three strength isn't bad. When you fall below 50% health, summon a decoy with one health and a taunt. Ooh, okay. Gain three bolstering. Shielding gives X additional shield. Okay, three bolstering. Okay, right now I'm kind of damage focused. Maybe summoning something that taunts the enemy away from me and letting me get, a, get some extra attacks out wouldn't be too bad. Meld skill plus seven. Okay. Let's, tr let's try this decoy idea. Could be interesting. And carry on. The Lowlands, Chapter 1. We begin. All right. So, yeah, I know I know there's a lot of ways to, like, the more spirits you have, the more you can kind of, like, there's, there's cards that feed off of spirits. Um, but beyond that, I'm not too sure with this character. It'll also be interesting to start with a druid because... With a warrior, if you start with a warrior, the first area you get a ton of cards from, the second area you kind of split between your first character and your second character, so you end up really amplifying your, your starting character a lot more than any other. Uh, two enemies, aggressive, or the sloth. I'm more going to be concerned with what I get after. Gain copper. Shops can be really valuable. We do have a shop up here, so maybe I go for the copper. I do like items as well, though. Add, uh, choose one or three cards to add to the inventory. Sun, blood, life. I do have a sun card. I could build around sun. There's also rel like these runes here, which are a whole other kind of complex system. Or a hidden event. Ruin, that, or copper. I think we go for copper here, though, because we're about to find a merchant. It's probably an okay idea. All right. So here's the auto-battling element. Um, so you we each attack based on the order of our cards. So I do strike, block, shield, but also strike happens first because they have no first card. So I get to use all my cards for do anything because their card is only on the fifth slot. I won't get that advantage much going forward, but because it's slot based, if enemies or I have our cards in later slots, then those go after, you know, like the order is me first and then them, I think, but it's, um, it's 
first slot, second slot, third slot. So for example, if I were to move this one all the way over here, it would happen after all four of their versions of this, therefore first slots. So having it in the third slot is a good idea. There might be things that benefit though from happening after enemies attack, like healing, for example, would probably be a good idea to have sort of at the end, even if I have no uh, cards in the middle slots. I mean, I figure I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill up all the card slots pretty fast anyway though, but that's something to consider. You notice a wreck of machines laying around, decide to salvage copper, okay. 31 copper, okay, we're at 66 right now. Hmm. I don't know if there's gonna be a ton I can buy for this much copper, but stumble upon a heavy crate. It looks like it's been here a long time. The lock of the crate has almost rusted away. It gives way immediately. The map. Okay, so this can let me find rebel stashes. I don't really know how good those are. I don't think I really chased after them too much on my first attempt, but uh, we'll hold on to it. Hello there, fellow traveler. Could I interest you in my wares? What do you have for me? <sighs> Snake. Allies gain regen. You you and all enemies gain poison. Hmm. Hmm. Apply armor. This is a turtle spirit. Apply negative one armor and four damage to all enemies. Kind of interesting, maybe. Turtle gives me plus one armor. All activating non-attack cards gain six shield. Ten damage. If any spirit active, activate it again. Hmm. Activate the spirit again or this card? I'm guessing it's activate the spirit again. So spirit fox would be double activated. On activation, gain additional fox tail. For each, ten fo each fox tail, you gain effectiveness on your cards. Okay. I kind of like this idea. 10 damage. How much does this cost? 30? Okay. Or this is for sale. The snake, 8 damage, 2 rejuvenation. Heal X after getting attacked. That's kind of nice too. Heads up, Sunset Bloom is bugged currently and applies Rejuvenation to the enemy. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> thanks for the heads up. Yeah, I guess I won't go with that. That does seem like a pretty strong one otherwise. All right, we'll take Jungle Power then. Throw this on the end. I still have enough gold for a second card if I want. Is it worth it? The Turtle, after activating a non-attack card, gains shield. Um, I mean, these are, this is, I have a lot of attack cards right now. I don't, I don't have a whole ton of non-attack cards, so it doesn't make sense for me right now. That's fine. I think that's worth it just for these. Head on out. And we're moving on to our next set. Arachnid Ball or Carnivorous Plant. The marked location for the Rebel map, I probably want to go there. Augment Heroes with status buffs. I'm less interested in this, although they can be really strong. But I do want to try to get this Rebel map location. All right, let's fight the Arachnid Ball. What do you do again? Eight damage, eight damage. Oh, should I put this in the end? Maybe I should have moved it to the fourth slot. Oh, well. Okay. Now they hit me. I activate the foxtail again. Now I have how much damage happens? 13 damage on the strike because it has two foxtails. Interesting. Hmm. Two foxtails. Let's look at foxtail again. I thought it would have moved it up by one, but it looks like foxtail. Oh, it's 10%, right? So 10%, so be 20%. 20% of eight damage is. Should still only be a couple damage up, though. It did 13. What other reason would there be to that, for that to be so strong? Hmm. I don't know. The map there doesn't make sense to me. 10% would be 20%. 20% on strike. Map leads you to another crate vibrating with strange energy. Oh, or is, is there some other reason? Yeah, I'm not really sure. All right. Vibrating with strange energy. Looking at the map, you see more marks. It looks like it's been left here for a long time. Forcing off the lock, you open the chest and get gold and force of nature. When you receive healing, gain one strength. Ooh, this is really strong. One item. Oh, this is really strong. I don't have any healing right now. <laughs> I don't have any healing, but do I need to start focusing on healing? Gain one strength. Wow. Hey, welcome, welcome. Enemy has minor armor. Oh, okay. So it weakens itself a little bit armor-wise, maybe. Oh yeah, and then it's also my attack versus their defense is, is something that's stacked in. Right, right, right. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Um, I'm kind of torn here. Force of Nature is really strong, but I don't have any healing right now. Minus, yeah. Yeah, I figure so something along those lines. Um, I would maybe take... Maybe I do take Force of Nature. I mean, it's got plus eight defense, even if I don't end up using it. Oh, I take both. Oh, pick one item to bring with you. Oh, this, it's supposed, I wasn't supposed to be able to do that, I think. Um, I think it's supposed to be an option and it closes. Okay. Okay, I understand. 
I don't mind it, though. You know? <laughs> you take both the Texas wrong. Oh, okay. Other way around. Sure. Uh, hello there, partner. By all means, come on in. Just a moment. We'll get started. Get started? Excuse me, but I don't know what you mean to start. Uh, well, you're the one who's just stumbled in. I just can't ever tell with you guys. Oh, it's this guy. Yeah, he's giving the same the same dialogue. I guess I'll introduce myself. His name's Numerous. He's going to help me amplify myself. Providing service for free. I am. It's very suspicious. All right. Let's do this. Two permanent upgrades. So, I want to... Oof. Let's look in... It should tell me basically what skill does, right? Potentially, I forget. I think skill versus damage are different. Skill would be for, like, effects, maybe? Represents the buffs and debuffs you apply as a percentage. Oh, okay, so increase the percentage amplification from buffs and debuffs. Shield and healing, attack as percentage, maximum health. Hmm. I don't know if I... I don't really have any... I don't really have any buffs or debuffs right now, but it might be a good idea to go for skill. Uh, what does this one do? Defense? Okay, health, attack... Health and attack make the most sense to me. Like, they're the ones I understand the best. Health, attack, defense, skill, health, 10, minus 4 attack. Hmm. I don't know if that's worth it. I'd have to go very much away from attack, and right now I'm very stacked into attack. Might not be a terrible idea, though. Hmm. And I can always amplify with jungle power for now, but eventually maybe I want to make this character a really... Uh, heavy skill character. So maybe I take the, the skill for one. And health and less attack. Hmm. Tough call. Tough call. Let's see. Fall below 50% health, summon a decoy. Okay. Hmm. I don't think, I don't know if I can afford less health right now. Maybe I go with Maybe go heavy into... Just keep focusing on skill. This is plus three skill. Yeah. Ah. Give me that. Okay. We carry on. Another traveling merchant. Gosh. We are getting uh, a lot of merchants. Hello again, friend. See anything you like? Uh, hopefully. So, right now I have this. All attacks gain damage when I receive healing. So I need to get some type of healing. Ooh. Three poison to you and all enemies. Plus X regen equal to your poison. Early grave. Take damage after every turn, heal X and reduce regen by one. Hmm. So, start turn, take X damage. Does poison also drop off like regen? I would think so. Um, which means this character would, as long as they stay under 100 uh, or 103 poison, they'll be okay because they'll just heal it back, right? But then enemies can also take advantage of that and deal the last bit of damage. However, that amount of healing will amplify my strength like crazy, right? Early Grave. Plus, if I have a second character, this won't poison them, right? To you and all enemies. Hmm, perhaps. Regen counts as healing, I'm sure. Regen, heal X, yeah. Hmm. But I have jungle power, which benefits from... Benefits from spirits. But this removes spirits, I don't want that. Uh, 7 damage, echo. Echo cards are another thing. Oh, Echo cards are good for combo, right? Recast all cards with Echo before this card in your timeline. Oh, I'm so torn between these two. <laughs> um, I think Early Grave, though, is the one to go for because it benefits most from what I have there. I could also take Seismic Blow, and then if we can build Echo later, I can try that. Because hmm. it's on sale right now. 7 damage Echo. Interesting. I'll grab it, I'll grab it, I'll grab it, I'll grab it. In case I want to do it later, but Early Grave feels like a good option for me. This will reactivate this. I need to get Spirits that heal me to keep going with this um, anti-poison build. Poison, anti-poison, whatever. Um, upgrade one of your cards, Muscle Memory Station. Oh, what do I want to upgrade? Can I, how do I look at upgrades? Um, I don't know if there's a way for me to look at it right now. Okay. Shift click, no. Okay. Upgrade one of your cards. If I upgraded early grave, would it do more regen and less poison or the same poison? That would be an interesting possibility. There's no telling what you may find here, or maybe it's just more of both. What you may find here. Ruin. Is this an, it's another, another traveling merchant? Oh my goodness. Okay, I think we have to go this direction, even though I'm curious about muscle upgrade. All right, we carry on. Okay, two enemies. 
We hope for the best here. I'm gonna start poisoning everybody. We got some block on. Maybe we should block before I attack to be safe. Might be a good idea. Bites through my block, poison them. I get, oh, I get one strength because, oh, it's not strength based on poison. It's based on regens every time I regen. Okay, keep that regen going. Ooh, this is gonna, it's gonna be a little bit spooky. I don't think we're gonna lose, but this is dangerous. Okay, more poison on you, more regen. My strength goes up, I hit. You hit the dummy. I get eight poison, you get eight poison, I win. Okay. Working on the math formula still. Oh, yeah. Uh, Vetrez is working on some math formula for... He's trying to develop a game, and part of it is, like, looking at this weird angle. Um, I don't totally know how it works, but he's been he's been talking about it lately. Mm. All right. So, yeah, I think I move block to the front. Keeps me safer from enemy attacks. I need to get rid of strike, honestly. Strike is pretty useless to me right now. Seismic blow is also... Would also not really help right now either, though, to be fair. I guess it would put uh, second skull in, but I don't. That won't do anything for me yet. Let's go to old machine wreck. Give me some more, more copper salvaging. All right. Did that give me zero, or did that give me? No, it probably gave me more than zero. I just I saw this animation that looked up there and saw the zero, but it probably already got added in because I'm at one ten. That's a lot more than I had before. I think. Pick one item to bring with you. Give a random enemy vulnerable first cycle. Increase damage taken from attacks by thirty three percent until the end of the cycle. Mm. I don't think vulnerable would apply to poison, but I'm not... No, from attacks. It doesn't apply to poison, I don't think. Damage card in the first card slot deals 30% increased damage. Hmm. Maybe. If you start your cycle with less than 40 health, heal for 15. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, we get that. More healing is so good for me. And then the merchant. We are already full, though. <laughs> oh, Marking several locations. So, okay, there's going to be more. Hello, friend. All right, what do you got for me? We're, this guy is just so used to us now. At first he was like, hi, this is my shop. And now he, then he's like, hi, uh, welcome back. And now he's just, just hi, how are you doing? We're, we're acquaintances now. Do we do spirit turtle plus one armor? No. Tiger, 12 damage. Hmm. Echo. Spikes. What I need is an Echo that heals. That would be crazy. All cards with Echo return X damage back to the attackers. Spikes is not super interesting to me. I need healing. So maybe, do I rest I'll do one restock here. Spirit Bomb, summon two totems at level one. Spirit Fox, reju- oh, Fox. Okay, more Fox, which increases effectiveness. That would be good. Rejuvenate and Taunt. Does Rejuvenate universally uh, have the problem of rejuvenating enemies rather than myself, or is it just that one card? Summon 5 health rat totem, applies 2 poison to a random enemy every turn. Uh, not really in love with that one. I'm, I'm tempted towards foxy allure though, because it has fox. And I could replace, I'd probably get rid of my strike at that point, just one card. Okay. So we're going to grab foxy allure, we're going to pull off the strike and apply that. So now there's 2 foxes, which are both going to be used again with jungle power, giving me straight away 4 foxes, increasing, increasing by 40% effectiveness on everything else, which is both going to apply more poison to me and to enemies, and then also apply more regen, but regen only heals by one per turn, whereas poison damages by the amount of poison per turn, which is which makes poison actually really kind of dangerous. If there was like a cure poison, it would be so broken on this character. Um, okay, but obviously that'd be um, wish fulfillment or wish, wish wishful thinking. Each ally including self six damage. No, I think we can leave with this. This feels okay. We should get rid of strike though, maybe. No, I want to hold on to extra cards so I can uh, use them on use them on the whatever that thing is, the card eating machine, if I can find it, because I love that thing. Another rebel location and a hidden event. I feel good about that. Element drafts aren't bad. Death, light, moon. Death, light, moon. I don't really have. I have death, but not not much of it. <laughs> so I think wreck of an old machine. Another traveling merchant. We got eighty gold still. We're okay. Let's go Slime Gang. Three enemies, mixed types, highly aggressive. We're going to hope for the best here. Lock on immediately. Thank you. Fox Tails, thank you. And I get Rejuvenation, which gives me Heal X after being attacked. So Heal 1. Ooh, which gives me so much strength so early. Okay. Only a little poison, but a lot of Fox Tails. We're being super effective. All of our damage is pretty much going to come from Two-Faced, I guess. Hmm, tricky. 
Okay, you're gone. Hitting me. And poison. Yeah, two-faced and poison. But the poison also hurts us, so we gotta really hope for... Oh, we gotta hope this is stacking okay. The poison is so dangerous right now. Maybe I need to get rid of early grave. Because it's gonna send me to an early grave. Ooh, look at that. The totem saves my life. And now I finish you off. 15 strength is really strong. 35 copper. Yeah, I feel like early grave might be too risky. We heal... We heal when we're under 40 health, which is really solid. Only at the start of the cycle, but still. Three poison you want all enemies. Poison at the start of your turn. Turn is different from cycle. Turn is every time I take an action. Oh, dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous. But when this plays, then this plays, then I, I heal, usually. Because by the time I get there, I'm already that low. <laughs> a lot of the time, I think. Uh, or the second time over, anyway. Rejuvenate. Heal after getting attacked. Hmm. Well, if I could, oh, if I could upgrade Rejuvenate, that'd be crazy. Okay, mark location. I gotta still consider what I want to do here. Map leads you to another crate vibrating with a strange energy. Looking at the map, you see more marks. Text on poison is wrong. Poison is activated at the end of cycle. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's that's a lot better then. So at the end of cycle, that happens, and at the start of the next cycle, I usually heal. Or I, I a lot of time will heal anyway. Okay. Okay. See more marks. But then regen... Does regen happen at the start of at every after every turn, or it would be right at the start of the cycle is poison and then heal every turn by one? Okay, that that balances that out some, not like fully, but pretty well. Okay, I'll just take a quick look, forcing the lock you open the chest because that means maybe I don't worry about early grave. Regen happens every turn. Hmm. Heal X. Oh wait, but it is it is X. So actually, actually that's really good for me. That's really good, because poison happens once, and regen happens every turn for the full amount, and then goes down by one. Yeah, okay, that's good. If an, if an attack would bring an enemy below 10% health, it dies. Oh, I could get both, though, right? So, I guess we should take it, but what would I lose? I don't know if I need Rebel's Map anymore. I like Decoy, because 50% of my health, summon something with a taunt. I usually take the poison damage after that, or sometime during that. I think, I think the Decoy is saving me sometimes. Um, I honestly, I don't know if I need any more Rebel Maps. <sighs> Rebel Maps are nice, though. Force of Nature. Maybe I just, maybe just amplify my own defense here. Because 10% health isn't a ton. It's it's only on attack, it's not on poison, I don't think. So I think we get rid of you, and then grab the, grab the coins. Feel okay about that. I really like my current things. If I can get more healing, I would take it over Rebel's Maps, but probably not, um... I would probably also take it over Decoy, if, if I could heal myself. <gasps> Feed me. Yes. Recycle a bot. I don't have very many cards, though. My brother from another mother motherboard. I should. Oh, I should have bought more cards. Gosh dang. You all look the same to me? That's terrible. My best friend is numerous. He feeds me with meld items. Are you different? I can convert your cards into meld. Feed me. Oh, no. What do I get rid of here? This is rough. Kill bot CMOP. Only have to worry about poison stacking up one shotting you at some point. True. Um... We get rid of size... Okay, hold on. So four items is the maximum meld. I don't... Can I get rid of four... Oh, four items. Wait, four items? That also counts... Do I get rid of decoy and rebel map? And then these two? Because these two technically aren't helping me as much as the others. I could get rid of block. That seems kind of dangerous, but maybe not the worst idea. I like the rest of what I have, I think. 16 damage, 4 damage to other, other random ally. Does two-faced hit me? I don't think it does. I know I want to get rid of Strike. Gives me one item. But these are just meld items. Is it worth it? It might be worth it. Seismic Blow. I get gold. Oh, Rebel Map gives me gold and one relic. Or one item. I don't know if it's worth it to get rid of Rebel Map. Hmm. I think this is better for cards. Maybe just the two. Is more items... It increases your chance of getting something really good, I guess. But uh, I don't think it's worth it to hurt myself too much here. <sighs> meld items to gain different meld. Hmm. But what if four items is like like better items somehow? Or it feels it's just four. Ah. To get different melds. Eight defense, three, seven skill. Seven skill feels like a pretty good one for melding's sake. I kind of like Rebel Map. I don't know if this, I think everything else here is I have to hold on to, unfortunately. And, and these, yeah, I think these are all going to be just a random meld item, and usually those aren't really worth trading something actually useful for. I think just for, like, weaker cards. I'm okay with that. 
Yeah, and he's only meld, so let's just meld. Meld away. All right. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. I was tempted. I was very tempted because I love going, you know, all or nothing, go for broke, but... All right, maybe we need we need to maybe store... If we have sale cards, maybe we just always grab them so we have something to, to feed. Uh, 24 damage of any spirit active, remove it to gain 9 regen. Hmm. 9 regen. 9 regen. Wow. <sighs> regen... I think this regen is stronger than the poison... But if the poison gets over, let's see, so we're to take X poison damage to you and all enemies. I shouldn't ever have a crazy amount of poison. Uh, 8 health, Echo, an Echo card. Interesting. 712 health totem, it gains 4 spikes. 12 damage, apply 6 poison twice. Plus 8 health, a healing thing would be kind of nice. Because that also gives me strength. Maybe we, we're going to grab this as a potential thing, and probably this because it's cheap to trade in if we need to. I'm tempted with this, but any spirits active, I could, but I like the effectiveness up over time thing. I feel like this is too risky. I don't want to, I don't know if I want to eat the foxes to get that much regen. Even though regen is really strong, I feel like I'll always have enough regen to be okay. Um, potentially with early grave. I don't know. I'm not sure on that. Uh, let's see. What if we can give it one times meld it already and continue melding with the one we just got? Um, not sure I understand what you mean. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. I think this is all. Maybe I restock once. Will you give me another sale? Yes, you will. Boulder Bash. If you previously card has Echo, double the values. Uh, maybe instead of block, double. I wish you would double play it or something instead. That would be more useful for me. Apply 10 poison and reduce your... Echo, echo, echo. This has echo. So give me 16 health back instead of blocking for 12. I feel like that might be better. Problem is, I would have to trade too many cards. Heal your weakest ally up to 20% of your current... Of your strongest ally's health. Plus 2 taunt, echo. You're the target... No, I don't want that. Uh, okay. Snake apply poison. Maybe I'll just grab the, the cheap card then. And then we carry on. 3 cards. Almost enough to just trade fully in. That feels okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Meld one item, press accept, and already get a new one. Then be. Uh, well, I think when you when you put an item in, it disappears. So there's not really a, that's not really I don't think possible. Um, lose one if you want to roll for specific one. Centipede one enemy gain parry after it loses health. Reptile one enemy burns poisons weakens you. Recycle a bot. Hmm. I should have bought another card. Recycle a bot is good. I can sell, I can get rid of the block if I need to and then go to the merchant. I don't really care about the block that much. Let's go reptile. Ruin is nice, but recycle bot's crazy. <laughs> All right. All right, okay. Are you strong? You look kind of tough. Uh, did you poison me a bunch? <laughs> don't be doing that. Okay, more poison and some healing. Okay. Give me the strength. We're stacking strength. Come on. Uh, this is spooky. Okay. Yeah, we're not... I'm not... I don't know if I'm built to fight this character. Okay, 25. And you know what, though? I, I have how many foxtails now? Two. And then you're going to uh, double up foxtails previously used. Come on. Uh, okay. Ow, that hurts. Come on. We have 85 regen, though. Yeah, I fully heal, but... Oh, how much poison do I have? 48? Okay, that's, that's okay. Dangerous, though, dangerous. 31, 15. You kill them. Good. I take poison damage. You're, he you're shielding. We're barely we're barely surviving this one. It's a bit a bit spooky. Oh, okay, 9 health. Come on, come on. Block, totem, heal. Holy cow, 72. I gotta finish you this turn, though. Come on, come on. 37. Oh, I think you're gonna kill me here. Come on. 14 health. Poison. Wait, 16 poison? Yes! Oh, that was close. That was close. 35 copper. Oh my gosh, that guy almost almost got me. Whew. Okay, recycle a bot. We're going to trade our block in. Feed me. What kind of feed do you need, robot? Feed me. <laughs> Can't feed you. You do not tell me what you consume. I know what he consumes. Give me this guy. We're giving you all these crappy items. Um, Spirit's active regen. Regen's nice, but it, honestly, regen... I had plenty of regen there. Jeez, I had so much regen. 
to you and all enemies plus extra vision equal to your poison. Right. So this is always going to outstack, pretty much. It's gonna be awesome. Okay. Pretty much. Not, well, not necessarily. Not necessarily. If I fight a poison enemy, it will. But then also, I'm gonna have a lot of poison. Okay. Get rid of this card. Spirit's remorse. I don't need the regen amplify because I already have so much regen. Eight health echo. Early grave. Yeah. Early grave. Um. Yeah. It gives me all x x regen. So if I have if I have over five regen, then it's it starts stacking a lot or over six po five or six poison. I should say. Uh, okay, so directly above them, how do you heal from 9 to full? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, and then health, uh, yeah, health echo is good, but we gotta get the two cards, and then we throw in our block, probably. I could throw in rebel map, but I can always, I can always buy something to replace block, I think. Block is kinda nice. Hmm, I'm iffy on that. A better block, would, I could probably get a better block. Decoy is really helping me a lot here, I think. Map marked several locations for rebel stashes. Hmm, which one to sell? <sighs> Let's see. I'm going to get rid of shield, I think. Does strength impact poison? I don't think it does. I think poison is a flat stat, and then strength is only a thing that amplifies the damage modifiers. Um, okay, recycle all this. I get an epic item here. What is the epic item? Attack cards give three times as much healing and shield. Hmm. Healing and shield. Healing, healing, and shield. Attack cards. What if I had an attack card with a ton of shield add? That would be nice. What if I had a an attack card with shield add and healing? Uh, it's probably not going to happen, right? I don't know on this. This is. I mean, it's obviously it's a good card. I get rid of rebel map, I guess, and then we add it in. A little iffy on this card. For each different spirit you have had this combat, 20 damage. Hmm. 12 damage to all enemies, echo. Well, I guess I'll take them both. You've had this combat, 20 damage. Each di wait, no, it's, it's different spirits, so different types of spirits, not individ like like two fox spirits isn't uh doesn't work that way, I don't think. 12 damage to all enemies. So we'll move these guys in. Early grave. And then we'll just do 12 damage to all enemies at the end, I guess. Active, activate it again, and this will be amplified. Okay, this is okay. I need a block. I need some type of block, I think. Uh, infinite increment feels nice, even if it's low to scaling. He's had an infinite combo before. Okay. Hello there, partner. All right, what do you got for me? We're gonna meld some things. So, skill skill is the percentage effect of buffs and debuffs. Heal X is rejuvenation a buff? No, it's not a per it's percentage based. So I don't think so. I don't think it is. Regen, yeah, all these are flat. So, I don't know if skill applies to any of this stuff. Attack, health, defense, defense, skill. I like the idea of getting skill to work at some point. I think we just go, we'll go skill attack here, maybe. Skill, attack. Yeah, try that. Okay, give me something good here, Traveling Merchant. Hello again. Yep. <laughs> All right, another Fox Spirit. Gain additional Fox Tail up to nine. Cards gain 10% effectiveness. So this gives me Fox Tail, and this gives me Fox Tail, so that's two. And then this should, wait, activate it again. This should double them. Actually, new spirit removes the old one. Oh, wait. If any spirit's active, activate it again. How does this work? It's a passive. Oh, wait. Gain an additional foxtail. Yeah, no, right? The spirit is the fox, and then on activation, gain additional foxtail. So this should give me up to... I should give me... I should have four on the first turn, and then five, six, and then... Or does it use one foxtail on every attack? I'm not sure confusing. Deal damage equal to the amount of unique statuses you have, times two. Unique statuses. I have, I'll have poison, um, I'll have poison and rejuvenation, that's for sure, but I don't know if I have any other statuses. Kind of interesting. Dazzle. What's my sale here? 
Spirit Turtle, 8 spikes, apply 2 spikes to random enemy. No, I don't want that. Well, I could double activate it, plus 2 armor. I should buy it anyway since it's on sale. Summon a random totem at level 4. Totem's going to be strong. Minus 2 armor to all enemies. Kind of not explained well, the way spirit works is that they activate their active effects upon summon, but they only get activated if there's either no spirit or a different one. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we start to discuss the specialization revolution in this game. So you just have foxes, you just keep the one fox, but if you swap between spirits, they all grow. Okay. So, okay. I have to think about that. Uh, damage equal to the amount of unique statuses. I don't know if this one's really that good. I think we restock here. Spirit Tiger, 12 damage to strongest and weakest enemy. Tiger, on activation, plus one strength. After activation, an attack card, make an additional attack. There's the Tiger, after activating attack card, make an additional attack for four damage. Uh, activate a random new spirit. Ooh, this is good for me, maybe. This one's actually good for me. So let's, I want to get rid of Earthquake. Earthquake's not that useful to me here. I think I would prefer... Nomad Spirit. So we get Nomad Spirit, we get a bunch of shield, and then we activate a random new spirit, and then we do two foxes, and then whatever that spirit is is going to be reactivated with jungle power. Okay. Okay. Maybe this makes it happen. So you have foxes, just keep the one fox. We swap between spirits, they all grow. So if I. So usually I think I have two foxes, and then. The foxes, the fox spirits give me fox tails. So that should give me two fox tails. And then when this activates, it should activate my two foxes again, right? Which gives me two more fox tails. But you're saying when they get reactivated, that they just give me back the same fox tail again. Um, but if you swap between spirits, they all grow. How do you swap between spirits? I gotta think about that. Okay, I could buy this as well. So I have four. Can I see the map from here? I don't think so. 24 damage to the weakest enemy. I could buy this. I would have four. Hmm. Attack cards give three times as much healing and shield. Like, this feels really strong potentially, but right now it doesn't really do anything for me. What he means is simply... Um, is... Well, what, is, what does swapping between spirits mean in this case? Um, is kind of what I'm saying. Because this is reactivating spirits, but... Um, okay. For damage to the weakest enemy. Do I buy this so I have four? I, I guess I'll. I don't want to. No, I don't want to buy it. I think I'll be okay. I don't think there's going to be another Recyclobot immediately after, hopefully. Uh, the active effect doesn't work if you have the same spirit already. Um, oh. So I have to lose the spirit and then reactivate. So if I had, if I had a card. But it says this, if any spirit is active, activate it again. So this is only. This only works if there's an active spirit. So. Um, that's confusing. Okay, because uh, th this card by like by necessity has to be activating a, a spirit that is already active. Uh, gets pumped at start of combat. So if the spirit did like damage, it would make sense. But maybe because it's foxtail, it doesn't do anything besides that. Is the exception right? That's that's yeah. Jungle jungle power is what I'm considering with all this. Um, so jungle power should double the foxtails, uh, or or make these foxtails reapply. I'm not sure which. Broken Droid. Ah, Recyclobot's right there. I should have bought the other card. Uh, okay, or could upgrade. Let's go to upgrade a card then, because I only have three cards. I really like Recyclobot, but I just don't know about this. I guess I could do Spirit Crown into there to try to go for a new roll. Recyclobot's really strong. Upgrading a card is nice, but I think we go Recyclobot. Okay. So this gives me the Snake Spirit, and then I get a Fox Spirit. Or, and then I get a ta fox tail from the fox spirit. And then I get... I got a s Oh, okay, wait. And then this doubled my fox tails. So if I already have a fox tail... But shouldn't the second fox spirit give me another fox tail? Hmm. Hit. Interesting. Or is the... Oh, the fox spirit is already active. Hmm, I'm confused. I'm trying to think on this. And the foxtails disappear there. What made the foxtails disappear, I wonder? I have a lot of statuses. Maybe I should have taken the thing that amplifies my power based on status statuses that I have. Hmm. Okay, four foxtails. 
Interesting. Okay, we beat them. I'm trying to think of how this would work. I went from three to four, but in the middle there I had zero. I thought. It seems like Foxtail disappeared, unless I, unless I just missed it. For each different spirit you have... Ah, I should have taken the status one. There was a status, like, based on statuses that you do more... Oh, well. Hit an event. Let's keep going. I have to think on this. Feed me. Oh, wait, you're another one? Oh, no. Um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to give you anything. I don't want metal items. I want... I have Recycle Bot right here. I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to trade that. Okay, so we're going to do all of these. Servant Spirit you have... This, have had this combat do 20 damage. I'm okay without the turtle spirit for the eight spikes and the earthquake. And then I'm going to get rid of spiritual crown, I think. Hmm. Attack damage is dealt to shield before health. Spirit. Activate a random spirit. I like that one well enough. I think we get rid of spiritual crown. Attack plus eight. Attack cards give three times as much healing and shield. I just don't have... I don't have a shield attack card. And I like the decoy a lot. The other items I have are too too important, I think. Okay. Recycle. First time your health is reduced to zero each combat, restore 100 health, then take 25 magic damage at the end of each turn. Yeah. That's really good for me. Okay. So this means this is a fail safe, and because it heals me, I should get strength based on that. Plus six spikes echo. We're gonna... I guess we'll grab the other two for recycle bots in future. Summon 12 health Tiger Totem. It deals 30 damage to a random enemy at the end of each cycle. Interesting. Probably neither of these, but that is interesting. Okay. Hmm. Learning, learning, learning. Traveling Merchant. We have to buy... We have to buy the sale cards here. Uh, anything else here that's more important to me? 28 damage if the target has shield. Deal 28 true damage instead. That's kind of interesting. For each ally, plus 20... Because true damage should cut, cut past shield. I guess it's like pierce. For each ally... Plus twenty shield. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna take this. We're gonna reroll, and then we're gonna take the next sale. I think. Snake plus ten health to all allies plus four spikes to all allies. But allies includes me or doesn't include me? Probably doesn't include me. So I think we take she uh, Boulder Bash. So we have our four cards and can trade later. Okay. Down to like no gold, but this is worth it. I think I think life elixir makes us really strong. Hmm. So, okay. So here's here's what I'm gathering. This this activates this, the fox spirit, which gives me a tail. But then this one that that would normally activate the fox spirit instead doesn't, because it's already active. So I still only have the one tail. And then this reactivates the one fox spirit, giving me two tails. And then this gives me three. And then this gives me four. This gives me five. This gives me six. Like each turn, that's that's how this goes. And this one's just doing nothing. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. So, except for the damage, right? But, so that means I want to, I don't want to have multiple fox spirits. I want to have, I want to trade this out for a different type of spirit. Apply 10 poison and reduce your poison by that amount. Oh my gosh, actually, this is actually really good. Gain three regen. Okay. The snake spirit, on activation, always gain three regen. You and all enemies gain 10 poison. Apply 10 poison and reduce your poison by that amount. Oh. Okay. Hmm. So this stacks their poison way faster, but it doesn't actually help mine that much. It, it just removes the poison that this would have added to me. Wow, Snake is crazy. And then this is going to reactivate Snake, though, and increase my poison like crazy again. But their poison is going to get really high. So I think this is okay. This one, this one might get me killed. I'm not sure. Hmm... I'm iffy on that one. I needed a different. I needed a different fox than snake. Snake is so dangerous. Okay, card pack. All right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Right. Because spirit spirits are only a, you can only have one spirit at a time, or sorry, you can only have one version of one type of spirit at a time. You can't have multiple spirits, but you can have multiple of their drops. But you can't reactivate a spirit with a new card except for jungle power. Plus 20 shield if you have any armor, plus 6 spikes. Okay. X damage equal to 50% of your max, of your totem's max health. No. Spirit snake, plus 16 damage, plus 4 rejuvenation. I don't think this one works for me either because... 4 rejuvenation... Well... It's not too bad for me. You know all enemies plus X regen equal to your poison. I need to keep this one. 10 poison and reduce your poison by that amount. 
which is basically just a free snake, but then it gets reactivated, which makes it dangerous to me. Plus for rejuvenation. But this this means that it doesn't matter. This will always keep the regen higher than the poison, I think. Um, okay. I think so. Yeah, between these two. Gosh. Three regen, three poison to you and all enemies plus X regen. Should I, I should switch these around though if I'm going to have a snake in here because this is going to activate this one and then this needs to add regen based on this and this is poison. Okay. Uh, Sunset Bloom, right. Also Sunset Bloom doesn't, right, yeah, right, right, I forgot. That too. Um, right. Okay. Okay. X damage equal to 50% of your totem, 20 shield if you have any armor, plus 6 spikes. I probably just grab either one of these. I don't have any... I have one totem right now, but it doesn't really matter. Have any armor, plus 6 spikes. So we'll just grab this one. I'm not going to use it, but I'll be able to trade it in. Ooh. Rapidly builds up a flurry of bursts and poison. Let's try out... We're going to go for the assassin. Samurai's really strong, though. Oh, samurai, not warrior. Right. Okay. Do I take assassin? I got to see what the assassin does. That's a good idea. Approach an empty, desolate area. It's too quiet. The spirits have less, left this desolate place long ago. Suddenly, a strange sound pierces the silence behind you. You turn around quickly. I sense you. Show yourself. Your eyes see nothing, but a chill runs down your spine. You turn around quickly and raise your weapon. You're not getting away. Oh, right, because we have to fight. We have to fight. Okay, will this work for me? I think I might win this. It's possible. Get some rejuvenation in. The thing is, you have more health than me, which means poison is going to be dangerous. Okay. All right. Your poison's up to 12. And then now it's up to 15. Okay. What are you... Oh, what is that enemy doing? Okay, I have 32 block. Come on. Okay. Oh, okay. And then this is going to give me... This is going to give me matching regen to my poison. Jungle... Not jungle power, but really grave does. Oh, this is actually going to hurt, kind of. So I have 33... Okay, 33 regen. Oh, gosh. Come on. Regen me back. But if I die here, I should re revive. Oh, you didn't attack my totem. It has taunt, doesn't it? Oh, okay. They're ignoring my totem. Oh, doesn't it have taunt the second time around or something? Okay, we're back to full health. I still have a lot of poison, but not an unbelievable amount. Did I die? I must have died. Okay. And then revived. You killed the totem. Good. You have 75 poison. Okay. Woo! There it is. I've beaten you. Okay, nice. Yeah, this build is pretty strong now, I think. This is solid. Life Elixir changes things a lot, because I usually will die to my poison at some point in the scaling, but then they'll have a lot of poison at that point, and then Life life Elixir is going to revive me. Their poison will stay, my poison will stay, but I'll have health to deal with it. They won't. Directive overruled. As you stand above the defeated rogue, she stops. Nice. Wait a moment. What happened? Your spirit has changed. Strange. I felt a sudden urge to kill you. It's gone now. Normally this is the other way around. You're not the only one confused. I find it difficult to control myself sometimes, too. We are in the same boat. I need answers. I'm heading to Imperia. What is your destination? I'm heading the same way. The road is dangerous. Do you want to keep me company? Your battle prowess has gained you my trust. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's a reasonable way to look at the world. The spirits have taught me everything I know. Perhaps they could teach you. I'll pass. I prefer to stab things. Your loss. We're to watch our back on the mountain ahead. So we've got now a damage shield. Well, we'll not we'll not know what they do until we until we get some new cards for them. But we go to the mountain. All right, that was a good that was a good battle. I, and it pushed me to the limit for sure of my character. I think even if they had like 200 health, I think I still would have won maybe because of the poison. Poison just stacked so high. If I had some way to get rid of poison though, I'd be I'd be doing some crazy things right now. What if I could upgrade Spirit Snake to reduce like reduce your poison by that amount by 10 because it adds 10 reduces by 10 but then, then this one reactivates it getting my poison back up so this it helps it helps me scale their poison faster than mine at least okay card pack okay you counter a large strange pillar protruding from the ground let's do this what type of cards does the rogue use 10 damage activate all chain cards in your timeline if the card in the slot to my left has chain i'll activate additional effects hmm in your timeline and exhaust them remove them until the end of combat so you're saying I oh because you're a, you're a rogue so if I had this at the very beginning I would just before they even have time to get block or anything I would just insta do let's say all four of these and just kill somebody right away and then become completely useless basically apply 12 poison execute double poison applied Ooh. 
Okay, maybe. Plus three to shield gains stealth. Makes character untargetable for random tar attacks as long as it has an ally. Hmm. Make them attack this character. I have a lot of poison. I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, apply 12 poison, execute double poison. If you had 24 poison applied to the enemy, then you're applying a bunch of poison as well. Maybe. Okay. What if Bondbreaker just straight away... I don't have anything with chain yet, but this could end up... What if this is a rare card? 10 damage, all chain cards. I don't see any... There's no chain cards here, but... 10 damage. Does this count as... Oh, is this a chain card? Or what are these things in the top right? These aren't chains, are they? Chain exhaust. Maybe I take this one. Ah, it's so dangerous. If the card slot to my left has chain, I'll activate an additional effect. Hmm. Exhaust them. Maybe. What if I just first turn kill somebody and then leave everything else up to my other character? That might be kind of crazy. I don't know. Card pack or ruin. Let's go card pack. I'm gonna I'm gonna rely on the Recyclobots for strong um, strong relics. Metal Chain 2. Chain. Good. Okay, wait. So this is... this. Does this have chain? Where does it say if it has chain? I mean, I can see it on the left side there, but what I mean is, does it? Is there a symbol somewhere on the card? Oh, wait. Chain is right here. Okay, so it's, it's, it says chain in the description. Okay. If the card in the slot to my left, okay. Plus 20 shield, chain 20 shield. So this will give me plus 40 shield. Next time you lose health, apply poison equal to 100% of target's target. Wait, 100% of health lost to a random target. Hmm. Next time you lose health, apply poison equal to 100% of health lost. Oh. Interesting. Burning, lose 10% of current health after using an attack. I guess we'll, I mean, we should start stacking into chain though, maybe? Maybe. It's kind of a it's kind of a strange one. <laughs> kind of a strange way to build a character. I'm very curious on how this is going to build out. It feels like this is a one-burst character. If you go with the chain, with Bondbreaker, you're building that direction. So I'm going to try to maximize the usefulness of that and see how it does for me. Ruin, Hidden Event, or Copper, Workshop. I don't really like Workshop generally. I do like the wreck, but I think we take the right side here. One enemy applies various effects. Let's do it. Bandit. Let's do this. Okay, so I insta-gain some chain. Deleting the card for now. Okay. Oh, you do a lot of damage. That's fine. I have a lot of regen. It's not too important to me. I wish I could turn them... I wish I could have stealth on my other character. Can I apply... Could the rogue apply stealth to this other character? Because it feels like that might be more useful. I'm not sure. I mean, I do, I do have a lot of shield production on them anyway. Okay. Foxtail for effectiveness. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of tricky. I need to build this other character a lot more. Okay, you attack them. Okay, how's your poison? You're at 41 poison. If, I, if this character dies, they'll revive. You'll have crazy poison. I don't know how to go about this. I would love a rogue to just amplify my druid. That feels like the main way to go about it. Okay, you break that. That's fine. You're 54 poison. Okay, do I live that? I do. Okay, and I keep summoning those. This is going fine. Our characters are losing health, but my regen's pretty strong. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, you're down. Okay, 81. Solid. Yeah, they're poison. We're, we're a poison stacking character right now. Poison stacking is the goal. <sighs> Tricky. Tricky with this one, though. The shield concept... Yeah, we, we, need, we just need more more types of uh, actions on this other character. So, okay. So all of these cards are for my original character, not for them. Hmm. Hidden event. I almost feel like it'd be interesting to be able to switch the order of characters, because I don't know how... Like, I don't know how useful it is to have a build this way. I guess, I guess you just have to go in knowing that they're ordered like this. Um, that the new characters always go first. Sand the gate to an old factory. It looks like it was excavated long ago and alone, left alone since then. Thick arcane smog hangs in the air. You can taste it even from here. Okay. All right. Into the factory we go. We find a uh, gaping center or crater in the hole, emitting this, emitting the haze around it lies machines. Okay. Okay. Pick one item to bring with you. Probably gonna get both. I'm thinking. 
Okay, no longer gain shield, gain one parry instead. Each time you would gain shield, lose 50% max health well equipped. Hmm, that would only happen once, right? You no longer gain shield, gain one parry instead. What does parry do? Reduce the damage of, your ne of next attack to zero. It's not one parry per an incoming attack, though. But still, okay, this is okay, maybe. All chain cards. Instead of gaining shield... All chain cards in your time... Wait a minute. I should do this other way around, right? So we get 20 shield and then activate to get 20 more shield. But at the very beginning, we get 40 at the start. That might work better. This is kind of a weird item. Your first attack each cycle is recast. Lose 50% max HP well equipped. Okay. First attack each cycle is recast. So we have a heavy attack here that's chain, and then we chain it. So it recasts, and then we chain it to... Okay, maybe. Weird. I don't really know if I like parry that much. Enter some old ruins in search of useful items. Eventually find a few and decide to bring one back with you. Gain three armor, lose one strength. One back with me. At the end of each cycle, heal ten. Ooh. Gain two strength and two armor, first cycle only. Hmm. At the end of each cycle, heal ten. Fall below 50% HP, summon a decoy. What if this character lose 50% HP? Wait. How will this work? Let's say you lose 50% HP straight away. And then, would that count as below 50 or is that exactly at 50? Because if you could auto summon Totem, but you, know, you can't, yeah. Auto summon the decoy. And then I just give myself the extra health on this character. The extra healing will mean that I get extra strength. Maybe. Three armor. Reduce incoming damage by X. Lose one strength. Gain three armor. Incoming damage. Does that count for poison? Probably not. No, probably not. Yeah, health helicopter. Let's take it. More healing is good for force of nature. Tricky. Traveling merchant. Hmm. Tricky, tricky. Hello there. Okay, because if you could auto summon decoy straight away, that would be potentially really strong. All right. Chain rage. Okay, more chain. Plus 10 struggle. X damage of your card slot is empty. Oh. Oh. Yeah. This this works really well with what I have here. What else? Okay. And you are... Dark. Uh, yeah. This is not really... Uh, yeah, I'm not really going for ruins here very well. That's okay. Uh, I think Chain Rage makes sense here. How can I tell which is for which character? Oh, it's the thing in the top right. Okay. I think we take Chain Rage. I like that. Because you're going to add Struggle. So 20 damage. First attack each cycle is recast. So 40 damage straight away. That's really strong. And then... And then these will gain me... 10 struggle, meaning each of these will do 10 damage. Okay. For each ally, I... Oh, yeah, I need more struggle, honestly. A ton of struggle on this character would be really good. I just have strike and block in the end. Apply two armor to all enemies. Maybe I move these over. Really focus on block. Two, ar two armor to all enemies. Echo. Armor doesn't really... I think uh, poison ignores armor. Eight damage for each time you activate a spirit. The cycle increased damage by eight. Eight damage. No. 28 damage removes spirits. Hmm. Remove spirits. No. Activate it again. So I... Uh, did I already get rid of the second fox? I did. So we're fine there. For each ally, including self, 12 damage. No. None of these really, these really matter. I could restock for 10. I might do that. Because I need, I need more chain cards. What do you got? Activate the closest chain card to my left. Mm. No, that's not really a chain card itself, exactly. Card to my left, it has chain, it'll activate an additional effect. Oh, this is going to activate the chain as well, won't it? And then this will activate it again. Maybe I want, I want more struggle, though. So this is going to activate chain, because this one has chain. And then that gives it... 
10 struggle, and then I'm going to get 10 more struggle. So we have 20 struggle, 20 damage for each empty slot. Okay. All chain cards in your timeline exhaust them. Hmm. Well, this does this self exhaust too, or no? I don't remember. 12 stacks of random number debuffs. Uh, 12 stacks of random number debuffs. Wow. It's kind of crazy. Stagus. Oh, these two are kind of good together, but. Spirit Snakes plus six regen to all allies. No. I think we leave the shop here. Okay, that's fine. Not too many, not too, too many chain things gained there, but I think this is. We've gotten somewhat stronger, especially with the struggle. It, it might be really, really good. I'm not sure. Recyclobot, yeah, probably gonna go for that. Don't give me another one of those meld bots. Uh, okay, muscle memory. Upgrading cards is really important. I'm kind of ignoring that side of things so far because Recyclobot just has so much potential. But I feel like that's an okay thing to get, to do because some of what Recyclobot can give you, the epic items, can be ridiculously powerful. Plus it lets me thin down cards I don't need. Okay, how much struggle? We have 20 struggle now. Okay. And then that activates those two, giving us 30 struggle. Oh. How did I get 20? I thought I would have gotten 10 struggle. So we have 30 struggle, which means both of these do 30 damage. Okay. Interesting. And then 30 more damage out. Let's see. 26. So because you have armor. You have four... Oh, four armor. Right. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I feel okay about this. 30, 30 struggle is kind of nice. Hmm. Bond Breaker I'm not in love with, though. I don't love that it attacks. I would love it to just disappear itself. Okay, that's fine. You take out that character, but you now have so much poison on you. I think it's too late. Even if I die, I'll revive. Yeah. Okay. Die, revive. Come on. Poison. Poison. There. Good. Victory! 50 copper. Okay. Pretty clean. Pretty clean. Uh, it would be nice to amplify this character further so they survive better. The shield is working. It's it's like helping a little bit. The struggle is a little bit confusing. Uh, card on the left has chain. It'll activate an additional effect. So it does 20 damage, but it does that mean additional effect, like an additional time? So does it already do 10 struggle, and then it does 20 struggle because it activates again? Because I think it would do only 10 struggle, and or it would do 0 struggle unless there's a chain. I would think that'd be how that works. So that's interesting. Left has chain. It'll activate an additional effect. Hmm. Unless there's some other reason this is double going. Because it has 30 instead of 20 is... Oh! First attack, each cycle is recast. That's what it is. Okay, so this is casting, because it has chain, it's adding struggle, and then it's recasting because of Cultish Dagger, and then this is recasting it again with Bondbreaker. Okay, 30 times. Oh. Is Bondbreaker... In the end, Bondbreaker's gonna be all on the way on the right. That's for sure. Uh, okay. That's fine. Hidden event. Please not... Okay, you approach a cloud of dust and smell of burnt metal. Okay, good. Get out of my way. Move. Good. I didn't want it to be the other robot. What are you doing here, kid? It's dangerous. Fixing up my cybernetic augment reconfiguration device. What was this one? Let's play around with card machine. Cover to try and find something useful. Plug in two cards and see what happens. Okay. Hmm. Two cards and see what happens. Does it combine them? I forget how this one works. Fox Spirit, Boulder Bash, previous card has Echo, double the value, no. Uh, summon 12 health, Tiger Totem, damage from enemy at the end of cycle, spikes and Echo. Hmm. Hmm. We'll check. Block and strike. If I use both of these, will it combine them into a super card? Because if that's the case, I should really combine I should really combine some of these cards. The the two chains, maybe, would be really good. I don't know. I'm not sure. Accept. Let's try it. What do you do? Oh, it just gives you a set of cards it can be. Okay. That's worth it. It seems kind of random what they are, though. Uh, a little bit. Unless maybe, maybe it's based on... No, it's not based on rune. How does it choose what it can give me? Because it's actually, it's giving me stuff for this character as well. 24 damage, gain stealth at the start of your next turn. So I really should have just chosen any of these two cards. Gain stealth at the start of your next turn. Makes characters uh, untargetable. Hmm. Summon a random totem at level 3. Summon a 10 health rat totem. Uh, I kind of need preparation here. 
Hmm. Maybe. Two spikes. X damage equal to your spikes. Because I uh, none of these are that useful to me. And two spikes. And preparation at least is something for this character because they don't have any cards. We need more cards for that character. Recyclobot. Let's do this. That's fine. I feel okay with all that because this character doesn't do much anyway. Feed me. If you keep running your mouth, I'll feed you some metal. Let's do it. Based on elements, but since you put in two starter cards, it's totally random. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So it's not, maybe it's not a bad idea to hold on to starter, or to use starter cards there because the randomness is actually kind of nice. But if it's normally based on elements, yeah, I would definitely want to just put in either random card or starting cards, or I'd want to put in, um, put in unused cards just to get a chance at something useful. All right. We have plenty of cards to throw in. We'll do the ones I know I don't want. I don't want Boulder Bash. I don't want the Tiger Totem. I don't want any Echo stuff, because that requires a lot of rebuilding. Spirit Fox, 16 damage, 4 damage to random enemy or ally. 20 shield, do you have any armor or spikes? I know I don't want Fox Spirit, I guess, because you already have Fox Spirit. All right, recycle. Gain 20% increased max health, 20% increased damage, 20% increased size size and four taunt max health damage size and taunt max health generally max health is going to be better on the character that can that you know that poisons and heals itself but right now i think these four are kind of too important the enemy cycle heal because they got to we have to do healing not max health for that character taunt I guess we could taunt with the other character at the start. And then preparation. How does preparation work if I'm taunted? What if I have stealth and taunt? What happens then? 12 health echo. Okay. We'll take it. I guess I'm, I'm not probably going to use it, but it is kind of nice. And four spikes. X damage equal to your spikes two times. That'd be a nice build. A, a spike build. Sure. All right. Get some of our cards. Unfortunately, nothing for preparation. Or nothing for our rogue, but... What can you do? Traveling Merchant, let's buy something for a rogue, hopefully. What do you got? Chained, 16 damage. Okay. I want to keep the struggle for them as the first attack, but gain four copper. Oh, that's kind of nice. Sure. We could, if we were double using that, but I think the struggle's more important. Move preparation, or move this over. Gain four copper. So we'll gain eight copper every combat. Is that worth it? I'm not sure if it's worth it or not. Gain stealth. Hmm. Swap the slots. Uh, okay. We'll probably we'll take both of these. We'll do four copper here. I'll test out. I want to test out preparation and see if stealth. If I have taunt with stealth, what happens? But I think. I think, chain slash is probably better than the stealth. Because you do a ton of damage there. It should be a bulk damage attack. None of the rest of this I'll probably take. Apply twenty poison and give them plus four health. Uh, that's kind of tempting to stack damage faster, but it's not exactly scaling, so I think we take this and go. All right. Uh, let's see. Just elements. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so numerous workshop. We could get copper and a hidden event. We get. We probably go with the ruin though, and the augment centipede versus mining golem. Both are just defenses and attacks you with them. Ah, yeah, you're a scaling enemy. I don't really want that. I like scaling enemies. My, I, I like non-scaling enemies. Parry after it loses health. Yeah, because I have poison. Poison's fine. Poison works through this. Okay. Okay, now you have four taunt. Let's see what... Oh, are you just... Oh, okay. Wait, my taunt might run out. <laughs> no, it won't, it won't. We'll be attacked three times, but then I will... Oh, wait. No, my taunt is gone. Dang. Okay, so I don't get to see preparation here. Summon the totem. Yes. Can I have... How many characters could I have if I have a bunch of totems, I wonder? All right. Look at me just gaining this money over time. Very nice. So how much did I get? Up to 69. Awesome. Okay. We're doing good here. Okay, you're all poisoned. One of you more than anybody else. Okay, they're gone. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I got to stack more poison on you. There we go. Very nice. My regen is... Is okay. Come on. I need more regen. Don't kill me yet. Come on, survive. Give me the regen, give me the regen. Eight, come on. Jungle power. Oh, I need one more turn to get the regen. 
Okay, that's fine. <sighs> Dang. If I got if I got the region for all that poison, it would be awesome. But it looks like dying does reset my regen. Oh no! Come on! Come on! Die to poison. Oh no! Okay, dead. Come on! We only need to live one more, but I have so little health. Okay, come on. Rejuvenation. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, dang, I almost got through. Defeat. Two lives remaining. That's fine. We get three total lives, but we are lowering them. I got some gold for that, though. Dang, 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 dang. Okay. Okay. So, I definitely think I gotta take out the stealth, because it's not doing anything for me. I need to do the chain instead. We'll do 16 damage, 16 damage, and then we'll chain the 16 damage again. So we're just going to basically burst fire somebody next time. <sighs> what if we were able to see what enemy deck slash cycle is going to be so we can fight, I'm better prepare for fight. I think some of the mystery is kind of nice, but I, I can see the, I can see the urge there. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to kind of run through like um, how much, how well do you want someone to be able to figure out planning versus like have uh, repeat runs? Because this is a, I guess, a meta progression or not meta progression, but um, like, it's a game that you benefit from playing, having multiple attempts at. Um, so, yeah, it's a tough one. Make it passive. You can bind ruins of the upper synergies. Start of the second cycle, gain 45 shield. Hmm. One item to bring with me. Every time you kill an enemy, gain 8 copper. Kind of nice. Gain 3 armor loose. Ooh. I could go for a little bit of a coppery build on this character. Start of the second cycle, gain 45 shield. I'm a little tempted with that. A little bit. And then this would re... Oh, but I could do this one to replay instead of doing the struggles. But I like the struggles. Struggles, actually, it's really useful because it means all these still do do damage. I could maybe give myself the shield. Start of the second cycle, gain 45 shield. Or when you kill an enemy, gain copper. Tough. I think we take the shield, though. I really don't think that I use the copper. Like I feel like I have enough copper to get to the probably merchant and get what I want most of the time. But I only nah, have two health now. Okay. Doing uh, something for next patch is not going to be exactly their timeline, but it will show which cards they'll use. Nice. Hello there, partner. All right. Let's do this. I don't know you, old man. Oh, yeah. We're a new character now. You're the one who stumbled in. <laughs> yeah. Still the same kind of conversation, though. Excuse me. Health and attack. Oh, attack up. Attack up with this character would actually be amazing. Um, attack up on Rogue is a great idea, and I can afford to lose some health. Okay. Defense. Ooh. Health attack down. Health down, attack up. I want the attack. Okay. Boom. And... Actually, I mean, if I got both of these, they would balance out really well, and I'd overall get... just It'd just be a, it'd be the equivalent of 166, which is actually not that impressive. I think i got to focus on attack here. Attack 3, attack 2, defense 6. We take the attack. Okay, just survive long enough to get your first thing out, and that's really all that matters, to be honest. And then you can just be kind of a meat shield after that point. Buy cards for support, or for copper. Let's do this. Uh, all right, have idea. Let's see. What do we got? Um, Sunset Bloom doesn't work, right? Uh, shield, Echo. No, I'm not doing Echoes. 18 damage. Repeat damage for each consecutive chain card before this. Ooh. Okay. Mm, 18 damage. Oh... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What if I had no dam... If Oh, this card would be so good with no damage cards. What if you had three chain cards that are all, like, shield or coin or whatever, and then you had 1,000 cuts to do 18 damage and then repeat for all these chain cards. So you would do 18, then 18, 18, 18, and then would this... And then it would reactivate because of Cultish Dagger... So you'd end up doing 18, eight times, and then would Bondbreaker, and then Bondbreaker would happen activating these all again, and then, I don't know if this counts as a chain card though, it says chain on it, but I don't know if, is this a chain card? Because it doesn't have a chain with effect, it's more of like an effect card, I guess. And then after that point, we just do 18 damage from then on. Still kind of interesting though. Still interesting. 18 damage. 18 damage again. But I, yeah, I just I don't think this counts as a chain card. I think this is a, is a chain effect card, right? I think. Kind of strange. 
Activate the closest chain card to my left. Yeah. Like, these don't count as... I don't think so. <sighs> Gosh dang. That's tricky. I think I probably just re-roll this. I, sh I, don't, I don't need to buy more cards. I can always trade all these in to recycle a bot. So I think, yeah, we recycle. Oh, gosh, dang. Thousand Cuts is so tempting. I don't think so, though. Executive Chain card before this. Because I could I could use it so... Uh, no. It, it would take so much rebuilding. I don't think it would work at this point. I don't think we got the time. Uh, 16 damage, chain 16 poison. That's kind of nice. Poison is really useful to me here. And I could double do it. And then I could reapply it again. Versus struggle. I think struggle is more important here. Although the poison would stack up fast. 20 damage. 16 dam 16 chain. Hmm. 20 damage, gain 4 copper. Probably better to do 16 damage and 16 poison on this. Then get the copper. 16 damage, 16... Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. Yeah, we probably take this one. Anything else here that I want more? 18 damage, apply poison equal to your burst. Not a bad idea. Actually, I have to think about how that could be done exactly. Yeah, you'd have to get a lot of non-damage chain cards, and then... Or unless he's talking about uh, Timeline Rebind. Lotar has a pretty cool update. Hold on. I'll look at that in a sec. We're going to grab Chain Venom, and then we're going to do... Pull off this one. We'll put Chain Venom in. And 24 shield, force spikes, armor, taunt, damage, poison, weakest ally. This is kind of nice, but I can't really use it for what I have. Okay, this is fine here. Tricky. Tricky, tricky. Okay, on we go. So, chain gain two, gain four copper. Okay, focus more on survival. Recycle a bot, really a good one. Eggs and hatches them if not defeated fast enough. Hmm, tricky. This is, uh, I don't know if I'm a fast damage character. I guess I can be semi-fast damage with all this, though. Broodmother. It's just that my other character is not... Oh, this character's... Oh, this enemy's actually really strong. This might be... This might get me gone. All right. Okay, you reduce our armor. You're gonna do a lot here. Okay. Hit and apply poison. Excellent. Perfect. And then... More poison, kill them, good. And then you're gonna reactivate everything in a minute here. Okay. Hit back, bond breaker. Boom. Hit them with poison. Okay, that guy, wrong character, that's fine. And now they have 19 poison on them. 22 poison, good. All right, and now, now you're just useless from now on, but oh well. Okay, hit, still 30, oh, still good damage though, actually. And you're taunting, which is nice. Okay. Hit. Okay, 32 poison. This will work okay, yeah. I just have to keep my rejuvenation coming up. But as long as I don't die on the second round, I should be able to get it back. Okay, hit. Jungle power activates spirits. Lots of poison in. And then... And then rejuvenation comes in. Okay, good. Am I alive still? Did I die yet? I don't think so. Okay. Oof. Okay, can I win this? Oh, this enemy is so tough. Okay. We're good though. You got you have you're really poisoned. If I survive one more round, I'll be okay. Okay. Oh, I have so much. Oh, my armor re reduction is so heavy though. <sighs> come on. Oh, come on. Okay, we die. Oh, wait, we we died now. Okay, now we revive. Come on, just get to the end. Get to the end. Get to the end. If you kill me here, I lose it all. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh, I'm going to die here. Oh no. You had 45 poison on you. Gosh dang. One more death and it's over. All right. Come on. It's got to be a way around this. Got to be a way around this. Ah, oh, goodness. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Recycle a bot. Give me something good. I have so many cards to trade in. Oh, we're in danger. All right. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Maybe the snake. Maybe I should have put the healing here instead of the snake. Plus twenty shield. You have any armor? Plus six spikes. I don't have any armor. Plus twenty eight shield. Rejuvenate, spirit activated again, poison. I kind of think the snake might be too dangerous. No, it's not too dangerous because it's... Um, oh, it kind of is, though, because of this jungle power. Mm. I have to get rejuvenation up early. One rejuvenation. All enemies, X regen equal to poison. Maybe I need... Maybe I need earlier... Uh, earlier poison? Spirit Fox. 
What if I did, what if I move this so we have earlier poison and then add the fox spirit at the end to go again? I think the Fortaun is killing you. Hmm. You think so? Max health, damage, size, and taunt. Attack damage. Hmm. Four taunt. Four taunt is killing me. I mean, this character does die really early because of it. Maybe, maybe they are, yeah. Okay. I'll see what I get from this, and maybe I'll switch it out. The thing is, like, this character doesn't have a whole lot of use after they use their bond breaker anyway, but they do have some use because of all the struggle. I just need to amplify struggle more, I think. Uh, 20 damage gained, 4 copper. We probably get rid of this one, and we'll probably get rid of the shield and spikes. Recycle. What do you got? Whenever you would deal less than 12 damage of any type, increase it to 12. <sighs> That's... What do you give you? Plus 8 skill? Uh, plus 8 skill. I don't really have anything that works with skill. Um, hmm. Poison, struggle, shield. Okay. Plus 30 shield. you have any armor, plus 9 spikes. 30 damage. Every cycle increase damage by 45. What the heck? Patient blade. Okay. 30 damage. Every cycle increase damage by 45. Hmm. Interesting. How would I... Okay, how do I do this one? The struggle is useful. The shield is... Is Bondbreaker killing me? Patient Blade is really good. Mm, by 45 is so much. Which means... Do I taunt on the other character? No, but taunt doesn't work if I... Uh, I don't really need the taunt, maybe. Max health, damage, size, and taunt. Tricky. Defense and skill. So I just maybe eat this. Hmm. This loses me a lot of max HP. Um, I could taunt on the other character. At the end of each cycle, heal 10 HP. If you start a cycle with less than 40 health, heal for 15. For 15. Less than 40 health. Increase max health. What if I switch these out? 40 health, heal for 15. Maybe. I don't think I want this, because I don't deal 10 damage when any spear is active. I don't deal... I only deal a little bit of 10 damage there. Uh, 16, 16, 20. This has potential for, like, a really low damaging thing. Uh, all your regen, rejuve, poison, etc. scale with skill. Oh, they do. Oh, okay. That's good, then. We'll put it on you. Okay. So... And then we'll grab this. 30 shield, if you have any armor. I don't have any armor. But spirit, poison, more poison, increase regen based on poison. And then, honestly, snake might be not giving me enough poison. Maybe I need more poison on myself. And then rejuvenation. Um, hmm. Oh, I don't have another. F oh, fox spirit has to go. Fox Spirit has to go behind this one. But this one doesn't have to. Ah, uh, we're still back where we were. Poison, reduce poison. Fox Spirit. Says this for struggle, strength, uh, strength, etc. Also scale with skill. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, that's actually really good. Okay. Skill's good then. Patient Blade. I'm thinking I want Patient Blade to go in here. 20 damage, the struggle. Poison. So take this off, and we're going to do Patient Blade here. 30 damage, and then as long as I survive, we do tons of damage. Okay. This could work. This is... Ha, ah, gosh, this is dangerous. Upgrade a skill. Okay, what, what can I upgrade? We finally are going to go into upgrades. Come across a mechanical contraption that vaguely recognize. It reads misbehaving body mods. Try muscle memory. Let's do this. Enter. Okay, what do you got for me? Needle extends, pierces your hand, feels surge of energy through your body. Plus six poison to you and all enemies. X region equal to your poison. I don't really need to amplify poison from this. I'd rather amplify poison from this if I can. 15. Okay. Oh, this is this is a single enemy, right? All others gain three regen. You and all enemies gain ten poison. If I upgrade this, it's still the same, I'm sure. Okay. Mm. By 15. 
Tricky, tricky, tricky. Patient Blade, 40 and 60. Crazy. Bond Breaker. All chain cards in your timeline and exhaust them. 20 damage. That's not that much better. Um, more Poison. More Struggle. This would be really good for me, I think. Because this would be... This would mean each of these would do... 15, Struggle, plus 15 again. Yeah, this would be probably the best one to go with. Uh, all status of Struggle Strike. Uh, so... Oh, and that would be... Oh, so skill on this guy would also be good, but... I think we upgrade this one because that's a lot of struggle, which means each one of these blank things will do way more, making Bond Breaker more worth it. It's a tough thing to make Bond Breaker really strong here, but uh, we're getting closer. At that point, would it be better to keep or get rid of Patient Blade? Because Patient Blade does 30. It increases by 45, but if this character dies, I want them to have gotten off enough hits. Um... 16, 16. That's more than the 30. And then because of this, this will be 15, 15 to be 30, plus another 15 to be 45 struggle. So 45 with each of these. Unless it's a long play, and I don't think I have long plays, I honestly think we probably keep Chain Slash in here, and then Chain Rage upgrade. I think this makes more sense, because this is going to be 45 struggle, which means 45 damage on each of these empty slots. Oh, okay. Hopefully, hopefully this makes sense. All right. What do you got? What do we got? Uh, gain stealth, no. Oh, level four, gosh. 36 damage, execute, plus X health equal to enemy attack, or enemy lost attack, no. If either you or the target is poisoned, double the damage. This would be nice on the other character, maybe, but... 64 shield, gain stealth, no. Reroll all this. None of this is really what I want. Nine burst. The next attack deals X additional damage. Burst is reset. Apply vulnerable and taunt. Green bomb four. 56 damage. Kill shot. Apply the targets poison to all their enemies. That's kind of nice. Um, 12 regen to all allies. All allies gain 12 burst and stealth. Ooh. Kind of interesting. X additional damage, but that doesn't really, yeah, it doesn't really work with what I have. Snake Totem, 60 damage for each unique status on target. Targets, I think, do have a decent amount of statuses. Um, hmm. Target poison to all other enemies. This one's also really good, though. If I had enough poison stackage going on, maybe. Right now, I honestly don't think I want any of these, though, unfortunately. Um, I think we would take this... Well, we'll take the one. It's on sale. We'll take it. 56 damage. Kill shot. Apply target poison to all their enemies. This guy stacks a lot of poison. Um, if it was chain, I would absolutely do it. Move this in here. We apply the poison. Apply poison again. And then kill shot. Instead of chain slash. Which would... This would take away 16, 16, 16. Takes away a lot of damage from Bond Breaker, but... If I could do 56 straight away, kill, apply the poison, maybe that'd be better. Hmm, tricky. Tricky. I could try it. I could try that. Okay. Allies gain burst and stealth. Yeah, I'm trying to go like a burst fire thing where I just finish it off immediately. I don't know if that's like a smart idea or really dumb, <laughs> but I'm going for it. Uh, okay. I feel like it's... I feel like I'm struggling with it, though. Hidden event or ruin copper. Maybe do ruin copper here. I don't have a ton of copper. Enforcer? How strong are you? Hopefully not unbelievably strong. Okay. You gain taunt instead. I can probably... I'm probably okay with taking all the damage on this character because they can revive, the other character can't. So if you, your first four attacks are going to go on the other character, which has a decent amount of defense. Okay. Bond Breaker. Extra attack. Extra attack. Unfortunately, the poison thing doesn't work here because it's a single enemy. Maybe I should have taken that off. That's a lot of damage, though. Woo! That's a lot of damage. Uh, struggle, 45. Okay. Okay, let's see this. 51 poison on you right now. I still haven't died yet, which is good. We have 9 strength on them as well. The strength probably also resets when I die, though. Hmm. 
48. Ooh, come on. Seven, and then you're gonna die to your poison. Okay, we're good. This is much better. Yeah, I, I do think maybe the taunt was killing that character. Huh. Yeah, nice, nice catch. 50 copper. Okay, so depending on the enemies I'm fighting, I either go for a green bomb, or I switch out for Patient Blade. Patient Blade is better against single target enemies, I think. Shield, if you have any armor, plus nine spikes. Or maybe Chain Slash is better. I'm not really sure which one's better there. Patient Blade, I think, is probably better, but maybe not. Okay, Ruin Blade, or Ruin, let's do it. Hmm, tricky. The start of each cycle, gain one strength. Eh. Gain X increased damage equal to 50% of your maximum health. Maybe. Gain two strength and two armor first cycle only. Two armor. Do you have any armor gain spikes? 30 shield. I could gain spikes. I don't know if I care that much about that thought, though. All attacks deal X additional damage. But the strength and spikes is like, it has some potential on this character instead of the summoning a spirit, but I like the... I like the chance of a good spirit. I don't really know what spirits I'm being summoned, but I'm activating them a lot, which is nice. So every cycle gain one strength. This one might be a little a little better um, than the other, but maybe we instead look, look at the meld power. Two health, four defense. Two defense, four skill. One attack, five skill. One attack, five skill. And maybe I put it onto you, because building skill on that character might be, might be good, too. All right, scavenge. Hmm... Notice a, a wreck of machines lying around. Give me that. 35 more copper. Okay. And now traveling merchant. We have a lot of money right now. Let me buy something good. 30 poison and give them 6 plus 6 health. Wow, that's a lot of poison. 18 damage by poison equal to your burst. Hmm. Yeah, bond breaker. Bond breaker is nice because it gives me let's struggle happen i need more struggle a second honestly a second chain rage would be would go pretty crazy here um okay 40 shield echo poison spirit fox rejuvenation and taunt i could probably get rid of this this card and instead go with a different fox 48 damage 12 damage to random other ally mm, i don't know about that lose health apply poison but I, I, I could definitely consider getting something into here. A spirit of some kind. A different spirit. If you have only used one spirit card at 12, 21 damage. Hmm, no. Maybe I'll refresh this. I would consider the two-faced, uh, the fox. Instead of foxy allure, yellow liquid. 30 poison and give them plus 6 health. That is a lot of poison. Hmm. The problem is I'm looking for chain. And also, it, it gives them health. It doesn't. It doesn't heal me. Um, it, it heals them. So that doesn't. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not too worried about the six health. The poison is really nice. The thing is, I think, I think I like Bond Breaker here. I don't want to keep keep going with that and then do. Um, I don't. I don't think the poison is worth it here. You can range it. No. Uh, what do you mean? Can range it? I can range it based on my poison, not their poison. Um, Equal to your poison. Apply 30 poison. I mean, if I, also, if I could apply it to myself, it'd almost be better, to, to be honest. Um, all right. For my for my build right now. I think we probably do a refresh here. Po apply poison equal to 100% of targets lost. Of health lost to a random target. Hmm. Okay. We're going to restock here. 21 damage, echo, fox, spirit, 9 burst on activation gain. Okay. Fox Spirit Burst, your next attack deal X additional damage. Um, summon an 18 health totem, 24 damage to any spirit active, remove it, gain 9 regen. Hmm. 9 regen. That is a lot of regen. Um, that is a decent amount of regen. Regen gives me strength. If I stop pushing poison so hard, I could go for a regen build instead. Um... Poison to you at all enemies. X region equal to your poison. Regen equal to your poison. I get a lot of regen going. And then I'll be stacking strength really heavy. 10 poison, reduce your poison by that amount. But 
then kill shot goes away. But I guess that'd be okay. Like, say I move this over, we have chain slash here, 16 and 16, and then I did spirit's remorse to get rid of spirits and give me regen. As long as I keep having regen, I can infinitely stack my strength higher. This would be pushing pretty far away from the poison strategy. Hmm. That also has some potential. But I'm really just using jungle power as my damaging move at that point, which is kind of wild. Um, acid wall and self poison go crazy. Uh, play 48 poison exhaust. Hmm. Maybe spirits remorse here. This one's also not super useful right now. But I can get rid of it. We do two spirit snakes. We do the fox spirit. Or I guess that'd be one and one. And then we get a ton of regen instead of poison. Regen equal to your poison. How does this... Does this work? 24 damage. Many spirits active gain regen. Regen gives me strength. I, I'll always have a bunch of regen... Hmm, I don't know. Spirit Fox burst nine, echo damage, totem. Yeah, I don't. I, I need more chain things here, but oh well. What does totem do? Totem is just a distraction. It's like an extra character for me to use. I think that this is a fine way to go about it. Honestly, this this is a lot of a lot of thinking going on to try to figure something out that really works here. But we're closer to something. I think we just leave it here. Bear totem, turtle totem. I could do one more reroll. Let's do one more reroll. Um, Spirit Snake, heal 50% of your lost health this cycle. Wow. Health lost this cycle. Huh. That would give me strength. That would give me strength and some poison, but then I'd have regen. Instead of rejuvenation. I already get rejuvenation, don't I? Receive healing. What? Re okay. Regen. Wait, is rejuvenation different than regen? Heal X after getting attacked. Oh. Versus just healing. Any spirits active, activate it again. What if I didn't activate again? Spirit snake. Eat the spirits. And then instead of activating it again, um, 10 damage, I instead did healing to further increase my Red Liquid Massacre. Apply 18 poison and wound. Reduce healing by 35% until end of cycle. That's kind of nice. Sort of poison turn, take X damage. The thing is, I th so right now I have a thing that gives me strength every time I heal. And if I were to start with shield, I do this one, then I heal. With I add rejuvenation. Um, then I remove my spirits and gain regen. And then I heal. That's three healings all at once give me strength. Is there a doubling strength thing? Gain stealth. None of this really works. Massacre. 36 damage. Kill shot. X damage equal to all. Uh, to all enemies equal to targets poison. Oh, that's actually kind of better than green bomb, potentially. Instead of applying poison, I just do the damage straight away. I don't know. Eh, this is probably okay. Tricky, tricky, though. 36 damage. Look at Massacre. Yeah. Um, equal to targets poison. So if I instead of going for a heavy, like a poison heavy run, I think I go for a damage heavy run. It's kind of my current thought. So damage heavy on this, and then healing heavy on this to increase strength, so I do more damage. I do want to scale. I always want to scale, um, which makes it tricky. Exterminators are insane. So I fought exterminators last time. They just do immense damage until I die, so I'm definitely not going to do that again. Um, I'm going to... Oh, but the Recyclobot's right there. Shoot a lot, a lot of damage initially, then need to reload. Two of them. I think they each do like 200 damage or something like that, or like 100 damage per shot, and they do five shots in a row each, so like 10 shots. So I think I die no matter what to exterminators. I don't know if there's even a way to beat these guys uh, that I've found yet. Cyclobot, upgrade one of your cards. I mean, I have some... If I could put like shields... Uh, kill shotting would be easier if you had the kill bots, right? Um... Gosh dang it, do I, uh, do I have to avoid Recyclobot? But I don't want... It. Exterminators killed me last time. It's too risky. Um, easier if you had to kill the kill bots. Um, let's see. I'm gonna try to insta kill here. Ex 
exterminators. Exterminators are crazy. I hate exterminators. <laughs> they're 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 oh I went them I went them with the with my previous attempt and they just insta killed me. These guys might be stronger, I don't know, but exterminators were crazy last time I played. Okay. Fly Foxtail. I'm not I'm not gonna double anything up here though. I'm just I'm going for regen, all, all different types of healing, so that I can get um I can get strength. What's that? Maybe that was a mistake. You die, and then I revive, right? Where's my revive? Did I already revive once? Oh, no. What? What happened to my revive? Uh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Wait. Huh? Wait, wait. Uh. Okay. Wait. Revive is contingent on what? What is revive contingent on that easier massacre? I don't know what's... What it's what? Try again. Okay. We're start okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, that that I don't I don't know. I miss I missed something. I know I missed something. I must have missed something. What did I miss? Okay. Anyway, anyway, we're going on to the rogue. Oh, I'd have to look at it again. I'd have to look at it again. Alright, but rogue. So we're gonna try starting with rogue. Both those enemies are insane to be honest. Gotcha. Um so I I'm pretty sure. So I had on the druid, I had a regen, uh, the regen pot, and I don't think it worked, or maybe did revive. Oh, you had to get. I died that fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they're both really strong. Maybe exterminators is the one to go with. I do feel like I had no idea what I was doing against those enemies. Um, okay, we're going rogue. We're going rogue though. We're gonna start with rogue and see if we can max rogue's power. I feel like bondbreaker got me killed. Like focusing on bondbreaker was probably a mistake. I wanted to like fully go into it and see how good I can make it, but... And I, I do think it got pretty strong. Just not quite enough. Okay. Large pillar. We're gonna this time build... I'm gonna try to avoid... I don't have to avoid chain exactly. Chain actually feels kind of strong, but struggle isn't really worth it, because struggle is only really good with Bondbreaker, I feel like. Um, so I don't want to focus that direction. Gain two copper. Early copper generation? Kind of iffy on it. Copper? Maybe. Apply... Next time you lose health, apply poison or burst and stealth. Money. So, uh, chain. Chain only works if there's. If I have to have two chain cards for ch for chain gain to work. Uh, is it worth it? I feel like I've never really struggled with money too much in this game. I kind of prefer take it instantly. <laughs> Six burst. I do usually go at an economy build, but I don't. There's no um, deal damage based on money card that I've found. So, like, there's not a lot of economy build to go for. Economy is just in order to get more cards. Um, six burst, stealth. Burst. I feel like burst has potential. Burst is reset. Oh, only next attack, though. It's a, it's a temp strength. You had level one card for a long time on Druid. I think you could have changed earlier. You ran into triple blood, uh, which is completely broken. Oh, okay. Got it. Chance to see the results. Stall the fight and go lots of chain gain. Chain gain, I, I have to have a, something next to it, but but you're right. I could do an early stall. Unfortunately, chain gain isn't going to work yet. Uh, tank build, ooh, tank build with copper gain. That's an interesting thought. Choose one card. Unfortunately, you can't let you, you can't you can't go to a ton of different um, upgrade spots. You just get so few of them that like hyper building uh, a build like that is kind of difficult. Uh, but maybe it could work, especially with the amount of rerolls I could do. Choose one of three cards or go to a ruin. <sighs> Dang, tough call. Let's take... Is the chain copper a chain itself? Yes, but it has to have a chain to its left. So you need to have a chain first, and then the second one will work. Can you get a second one? Good question. Repeat damage for each consecutive chain card before this. I don't know if this counts as a chain card. I don't think it does. Um, like, I know this does. Apply six stacks of random numbers. So maybe I'll do metal chain. Executive chain card before this. I don't think, I don't think this sort of thing really works either. It's, it's, it, oh, it only has a maximum amount of four other cards. So it can only do a maximum. Well, I guess if you could upgrade the card, it could be pretty strong. Six stacks of random number debuffs. Debuffs are kind of nice, but we'll do metal chains so that we can, we can try to build. Honestly, take out strike. We'll do... Metal chain to get some defense, then hit and gain copper, then defend again, get hit, and do it over and over again. 
try to maximize our early draw. We can see if that works. All you need is one left card and then all chain. I think the first card won't chain because there's nothing to its left, but the second card will chain. So the first card chain is always not going to work unless you have something to activate it, like Bondbreaker. Green Slimes or Cyber Sloth? Cyber Sloth, let's see. Well, it, what really matters here is the cards after. What does this have? Mind Dark Moon. I didn't really focus as much as I should have, maybe, into stacking cards. Dark? Dark is Copper Gain, so maybe... Maybe I focus on dark. This could give me a dark card, though. So we'll go ruin to try to get up there. Hidden event. Is the hidden event where you find the map, or is it in ruins? Mm. Let's go cyber sloth. I think it's in the ruins. Applies burning. Oof, dangerous. But I'll, I'll have a lot of block. But you're still going to apply some burning, which is a bit rough. How much does burning do? 10% of current health after using an attack. Oof. Okay. So you are actually going to limit my... Uh, you're going to limit my coin gain here. All right. We're going to have a lot of block, though. Oh boy, <laughs> am I gonna am I gonna lose this for myself? Because um, I'm greedy? No, I, I'll, I'll win. I'll win this. I think. <laughs> All right. Okay, it's gonna hurt, but I think we'll win. You attack, I shield, and then I kill you. Okay. So how much? We got eight copper. At the, oh, 35 plus the eight. Okay. I need more. Need more for profiting. <laughs> it's kind of a weird way to build one. Uh, all you need is one left card, and you were so you were so dark you get more profit. We'll see, we'll see. Hopefully, um, two strength and two armor for cycle only. Increase your max health by twenty. Gain ten struggle. We're not gonna go struggle this time. Well, this would have been really good the other the other route potentially. Increase your max health by twenty. That helps me extend the length of the battle, so I can get more chain gain going. Gain two strength and two armor, which decreases length of battle. I think we. I mean, this is generally the better one. Two strength and two armor. Armor especially is nice, because we can reduce their damage by two. Uh, but the strength will mean I kill them faster. So I think we go with max HP. Hmm. Yeah, I'm curious. Could you do an economy build in this game? All right. All right, pillar. Dark. Come on. We, have, we'll show, we should show three dark cards here, right? Odds of chain gain. Ah, nope. Chain rage. Ten damage, chain five struggle. I'm not going struggle this time. Trap, exhaust traps, 12 shield to all allies. Hmm. Initiate, oh, initiate trap, 12 shield to all allies. Uh, hmm. Does allies count as myself? It, it might. 10 damage and burning. More shield? Yeah. That's where I'm going at the start here anyway. Okay, we have two darks and two times. All right, traveling merchant. Okay. Yeah, exhaust. It's it's gonna disappear, <laughs> which makes I honestly I don't I don't know if this could be useful. Twelve shield in the long term, but for now it it might help. Alice counts as yourself. Yes, good, good, good. Uh, six damage. Activate the closest chain card to my left. Ooh, chain train. That could work for gaining. Closest chain card to my left. Creates a card in left or right. Apply six poison. Apply the target's poison. I mean, technically, if I want to go from if I'm, I'm going to focus on maximizing. We would probably go with this. Closest chain card. That also means I could have it on the far side if I wanted. Um, so we get the block first and then chain train. Okay. I'm not going to reroll here because I don't. I won't have the money for it. That's fine. Uh, okay. So liquid. I could sell the strike. I probably should, right? No, I should hold on to the strike for Recyclobot. 12 damage, kill shot, activate this twice. That's kind of neat. Okay. Okay, economy build. I don't know. Oh, I'm going to see. We'll see if this works. Carnivorous plant poisons, depletes your strength. It's better to go with someone. Gains high damage, but depletes its own defense. A hmm, little dangerous, but poison is probably worse for me. Ruin or hidden. Let's go hidden event and get some copper. Okay, economy build it is. We'll try. We'll try. Okay, so we're fighting. We're fighting you. Put down some easy, immediate defense. We hit and gain some cash. Get some shield. All right, you're enraging yourself like crazy. I, I got a lot of shield, though. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Little bits and pieces of gold. This is kind of a weird build. Oh. My trap's just hanging out. Okay. Don't mind it. Look at me go. Look at me go. We're at 31 gold. Okay, block. Chain gain. Okay, 30, 33 gold plus the copper. Oh, wait. Did it not give me... 
I don't know if it gave me the gold. 35, 33, and 35. I didn't get the gold because it didn't get a proc before killing the enemy. Good to know. Good to know. Interesting. Huh. Okay. It's not that important. I mean, it's only two gold, but it's interesting to see. Approach a cloud of dust and the smell of burnt metal. Get in my way. Move. Oh, this character this early. All right. Hmm. So this character I'm going to want... What do I want to do here? I don't want to put these in because... Yeah, I guess I would do the strike and the block. Because they have the best chance of giving me some random thing. Give me something good. What do you got? Patient blade. 8 damage, chain 8 poison. Execute plus X health equal to enemy to health lost. Apply 6 poison and minus 2 bolstering. Hmm... 6 poison and 2 less bolstering. Hmm... Shielding gives minus two bolstering. So shielding gives less shield to them. Maybe. Second increase by 15. Eight damage, eight chain. Arr, okay. Move you in. Move you over here because I can leave you on the end. That's probably for the best. Ten damage and increase. Poison. Health equal to enemy health lost by attack. I think we take Gray Liquid here. Probably the best for this build so far. I'm trying to avoid really doing a ton of damage. I just want to be survivable. So it would be better to have, like, bolstering on myself than minus bolstering on them. But, oh well. Give me some copper. Let's do this. 38. Thank you. Economy build. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. Economy build. Is it possible? Pink Liquid. Poison Burning. I'll let oh, you're... Okay, there's a lot of a lot of potions here. Gain burst and strength. Attack deals additional damage. 12 damage if stealth double the damage. Interesting. Probably gonna restock this, I guess. Maybe I need to buy. I might need to buy cards here. Burst. Six damage and chain. Okay. Plus six burst. Next time you lose health, apply poison. Equal to 50% of health loss to a target enemy. Eight damage for each unique status on target. Okay. 12 damage twice. I think we go with ch chain potential. Give me some burst on my coin stealing. Uh, attack deals extra damage. Hmm. Six. So this this really this does 12 damage is the best way to look at this I think. Um, unless you can unless you double an attack and then it does 18 damage in a way. But this one gives me stealth eight. Get economy going early. Best economy start. Um, I think we have to buy the cheaper cards to do... Uh, oh, yeah, we have two, ooh, two sale cards here. Okay. Poison and bolstering. Damage and burst. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I... I can't do another restock here. That's fine. Six damage. We add burst. The next attack does extra damage. Instead of poison and bolstering. That's probably better. 12 damage twice gains stealth. That's actually kind of nice. But the shield is important for, for what I'm doing, I think. Okay. Okay. Got economy going start. Best economy strat. I mean, yeah, this is the um, the best way to go for an economy strat is to get it at the very beginning if you can, I suppose. I just don't know if it's possible. Uh, we'll see. Body, blood, fire. I want dark, so I'm going to go ruin instead. Cyber frogs. Low health start with high shield. I can live with that. Rapidly gain shield over time and tax you with it, if not kept down. No, that doesn't really work for me. Uh, okay, we'll do the cyber frogs. Okay. I mean, the amount of copper I'm gaining for this is really not too substantial. Okay, the trap hits you. Love it, and I gain my defense. Okay, give me the money. Oh, you have a. Oh, you. Oh, you start with defense, but if I can get it knocked down, we're good. Okay. Hit. Give me burst. Hit. 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 Okay. Shield. Hmm. Maybe I should... Oh, maybe I should put the... Maybe I should move this chain thing to the front so I get extra shield. That might be a better idea. Because more shield might be really important for this build. Okay. Ten. Hit. Yeah, it would definitely save me a lot of a lot of health loss here. You're down. Good. Yeah. Okay. Copper. We're going to move, move things around here a little bit. So chain potential has got to go to the front so that you get the 20 shield. That's better. I don't think the burst is as important. Uh, okay. Machine wreck. Copper. 
we're at over 100 again. Hmm, it's possible. I mean, I definitely am getting a little bit of extra extra gold here. Copper. Well, you're vulnerable. Deal 30% increased damage. Gain vulnerable at the start of your cycle. Increased damage taken from attacks. Hmm. At the start of combat, deal 18 damage to all enemies. Start combat with 30 shield. Ooh, 30 shield is nice. The chain gains are off the charts. Yes. <laughs> uh, we're going to go with the shield. I think that's a fine idea. Got to be survivable so I can keep getting this keep getting this copper. Uh, let's see. More copper, please. 16 shield gains stealth. Mm, no. Well, maybe. No, no. I mean, stealth could work later on when I'm trying to keep stacking gold. Six poison, minus one strength, and minus one armor. Maybe. Minus one strength is actually nice to decrease their damage to me some, so I can I can keep going. But I, I love a decrease their strength, increase my, my armor thing. Six damage, repeat damage for each consecutive chain card before this. No. Hmm. 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 Restock. Kill shot, activate this twice. Kind of nice. Dark symbols? Convert half of dark symbols into burst. Oh. Start of turn. That's interesting. Okay, plus three burst, apply vulnerable and taunt to a random enemy. Okay, damage taken, make sure I hit them every time, and give me burst. That has some potential. Burning, but I think I reroll again here. Chain, apply vulnerable, poison. No, ah, for an economy build, I'm just basically trying to focus 100% in, um, in on building the economy side of things, so... Uh, making them do less damage is good. Uh, one more restock. Is this crate? 12? No more than 20. 20 is the max we'll do. Gain stealth. No, none of this really works. Six poison and wound. Kill shot. No, we're going to leave the shot. Just leave it at this. Maybe, oh no, I should buy, I should buy card just in case there's a Recyclobot. And then leave shot. Because I do, I do need to have enough for Recyclobot. Just in case. There you are. So maybe we go that direction. I'd pr what would I trade in if I went that direction? Maybe the health. Ugh. Okay, because I don't have any healing yet. Slime Gang or Cyber Sloth. Three enemies mixed health, highly aggressive. Yikes. I, there's a high chance that I lose early here, to be fair, because this is uh, this is kind of nuts of a build. Okay, hit. We can get these guys down, though, especially this green slime. Focused 100% in on copper generation. Hit copper, thank you. You're gone already. We still have some of our block left. Okay, you break that, give me more block. Okay, yeah, our survivability is actually going pretty well here. What do you have? You get more defense when you gain armor. Okay, kind of spooky. Oh, keep the gold coming in. Six gold, you're down to eight. What are you, are you you're a time bomb or something? Explodes. Uh, explodes upon death, dealing 36 true damage. Oh, you're scary. We gotta finish you before you stack up too high. Uh, okay, come on now. Oh, wrong guy. Oh no. This guy's gonna kill me. Insta-kill insta me. Oh, they actually are just gonna insta-kill me, because I'm not attacking them. Oh, yep, they're gonna insta-kill me. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Ah, <sighs> dang. Okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. There's a loss, but we got a lot of money. Oh, we carry on, we carry on. The economy build is so weak, but it could get strong. Welcome to the Eternal Dojo. Well, fighting is my specialty. Today, I have a special offer. Let's do this. Need to make sure to kill enemies. Well, I'll do, I'll do my best, you know. Uh, run of inspiration. Honestly, yeah. Um, I don't have much for damage right now, but I'm just I'm stacking into the copper gain a lot. I just don't have anything to scale. Mm. I could apply poison. Uh, what would I do here? Mm. Eh. Let me borrow two cards. I'll, I'll practice them. The next time you see me, I'll show you their true, true potential. Oh, you're going to upgrade cards for me? Uh, okay. We could we could send in we could send in our poison cards. Or sorry, our, our copper gain cards, and we got to find this guy as soon as we can again. But but I could do this. I could train them, so they'll both be level two. And that'd be way more copper gain. Probably four, and then and then at least double it. Probably just the damage upgrade is what I'm getting there though. Maybe it'd be better to hold on to this one and do a different one to upgrade. Because I don't think the upgrade to this is actually going to be... It's just going to be damage, I'm sure. This one will probably be copper, though. Close the chain card. You can activate the shield card again, or... The burst card. 
No. Bolstering. Yeah, probably the shield card. 12 damage twice gains stealth. This feels like a better option. Apply 6 poison and minus 2 bolstering. I think this is fine for now. 12 poison, exhaust. 6 damage, gain 6 burst. Left. Hmm. Ooh. Damage twice. Wait. So burst actually would be really strong here. And then we even more burst, and then you are going to do crazy things. Oh, wait, no. Chain 6 burst. It won't be 12 burst, though, because this will do the 6 damage. That's fine. Um... Chain card to my left. And this will do the extra damage. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So we'll do copper and... Metal chain is kind of nice. 12 shield to all allies. Wall trap. I don't really like the traps that much, I don't think. Uh, 6 poison and minus 2 bolstering. I can maybe upgrade this one. Minus 2 bolstering. Stealth. Uh... Tough call. I guess we'll do six damage minus two bolts ring. Uh, take that. Take those. Upgrade them for me. So this is a hidden... So we have to go to another event. Recyclobot. Oh, Recyclobot. Ugh. Take my traps. That's what I gotta go with. Feed me. We're, we're, gonna, tell, we're gonna give you whatever we have to, because I want to get this epic item. We'll give you the traps probably first. The poison trap will give you... We'll give you what else? Wall trap. Max health. We need one more. To make this happen, technically all I need is this to make this hit a ton. The shield is pretty nice. I think, yeah, we'll probably we'll probably get rid of this instead. Yeah, give me this. Ugh, give me this. I'm greeting, greeting like crazy. Patient blade two, kind of nice. Kind of nice. Okay, first time you, your health reduced to zero, each combat restore 100. That's kind of nice. Sacrifice a card. You're getting a shop right after sacrifice a card. Yeah. I think this is really nice, though. I could have I could have sacrificed one of these, uh, but I kind of like what they do. 12 damage, apply poison equal to your burst. Ooh. Ooh, tough call. Tough call. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Um, if I do this one... Oh, chain. It has to have chain on it, though. Hold on. The idea here would be, this gives me burst, this does the extra damage, this adds the burst, this hits hard. And then and then we shield again. Patient Blade, though, it ha this, has, this has to go in this order to really work. Hmm. I like Patient Blade. Oh, well. Oh, well. I can, re I can revive, though. That's probably totally worth it, right? Okay. All right, what do we want? Chain Drain. If I get more of that gold stuff. Bond Breaker, no. Four damage, chain reduced target, strength by damage dealt to health. Ooh. Reduce target strength by damage dealt to health. That's really good. Does, can strength be negative? Because that would be really strong there. Remember the cycle goes around, so if you put a chain card in the fifth slot... Oh, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. Okay. Um, right. That makes sense. Chain card in the fifth slot. Hmm. Oh, this is tough. Do I try to do that? I mean, what I have right here, shield, burst, hits with this, applying poison based on burst. This grabs the burst again, and then this hits a bunch. If I could move... I could move the... Sh 12 damage. Shield to the end... Would, would apply this. Yeah, mm, I don't know. The shield should be at the start, shouldn't it? Bondbreaker bad. Uh, it's not necessarily bad. It's just not what I want. Uh, I tried it last time. It kind of it kind of works, but I think it, it loses its power. Four damage, chain, reduce target strength by damage dealt. I kind of like chain drain, though. Chain drain is kind of nice because I can reduce their strength a bunch, and then once I have the gold or the copper generation thing again, we'll be in, in a good spot. I'll get I'll grab chain drain at least. It's, it's on sale. I kind of might as well. And then I'll do a restock. 8 damage for each unique status, 24 damage of stealth. Bondbreaker is insane burst. Uh, you can activate all your cards in your first slot, so if you can win with one cycle. Yeah, Bondbreaker can be really good. I tried it last time. It's really good, kind of, but as it goes along, it feels like it's harder and harder to insta-kill the whole, you know, 
set enemies, and so it becomes kind of weaker, and then once it's too weak to use, then you can't really trade it out anymore. Uh, restock, but it has potential. Can't win you run life support. Does Bondbreaker activate with also chain? Yeah. Uh, does that activation also activate other chain? Um, no. Uh, Bondbreaker itself isn't a chain. It's just that it activates chain cards. 16 damage and chain. All I was gain 8 burst and stealth. Hmm. This is kind of a nice one. It would mean that I don't... But then Chain Train becomes less useful unless I use it to gain shield. 8 Burst and Stealth. Apply 12 Poison and Burning. 12 Stacks of Random. 8 Burst and Stealth. 8 Burst is really good. <sighs> Yikes. Uh, hmm. Maybe I do buy this one. 30 costs. Let's take it. Let's do this. So I'm going to do, instead I'm going, instead of using this one, Chain Potential, I'm going to do 8 Burst and Stealth. We're going to do Double Strike right after, so 8 Burst does 12 instead of 20 damage, 20 damage twice, I think. And then um, this one's going to do Metal Chain, and Metal Chain is going to be after Chain Potential. So it activates. Chain Drain. Reduce target strength by damage dealt to health. Hmm. Tough call there. Anything here? Oh, this is... Oh, I can put... Wait, hold on. I can put Metal Chain here. Although it won't get its chain effect. It will ignore this one. So it gives me some shield. Then you gain damage twice, still from the burst. And then... Ah, uh, that doesn't really work. Hmm. Dark spawn cards in cycle. Ah, uh, some cards. Uh ugh. okay. Oh, dark. We have time right now. Ignore fifty percent of enemy damage at the end of each cycle. Take X of ignore damage. Interesting. Chain potential. Chain potential so that this activates and then this will reactivate it. I forget the closest chain card to my left. Um making this give me a ton of shield, and then we do burst into damage. That's an okay way to go about it, I think. And then do I buy this for an upcoming 12 stacks of random number debuffs? 16 damage, chain, poison. Maybe I buy this one. Oh, no. I don't want to buy it. I can't buy this one anyway. Uh, let's buy this one in case we have a in case we have a Recyclotron again. Okay, there's one. Probably go for that one, yeah. Centipede. Gains parry after it loses health. Parry. Hmm. So, amplify damage little bit of damage, shield, a little bit of damage, oh, again, and then amplify damage. So I don't want this order. It has to switch around the order somehow. Apply burst. So this hits, then damage is not taken, then damage is taken. So I don't want this one. I don't have anything that doesn't damage, though. Amplify, damage taken, Chain 6 Burst. Activate the closest chain to my left. Activate this one. So take the damage, block the damage. I don't have... Uh, I, need, I need to keep doing... Wait, this works. Take the damage, block the damage, take the damage, block the damage, take the damage, block the damage. Ooh... Four would be better if I could do four somehow. Hmm. Dang, dang. This guy's tricky. This I know this guy's tricky. Um, but I can apply... Oh, I can apply poison, though. I could do a poison instead. So that it always applies. Poison always applies. Um, okay. Poison. Poison. Poison, double up poison. Poison, double up, po uh, no, poison, double up poison. So hits, ignores, but takes the poison. Hits and poisons, ignores. So if I had four, if I had four somehow, so I actually kind of want, I actually kind of want gain six first. It doesn't really matter which one, just something with chain that does damage. This one, I guess. So hits, ignores, Hits, ignores, hits, ignores. This is good. Four is what I need. Let's do this. Ugh. 
Okay, a little tricky. We're doing it. Okay, amplify, hit 20, 20 and zero. Oh, because, oh, it's a second attack. Right, so I did this, I did the math wrong. Okay, that's fine. So, but I'll always hit with one of the 20s. Buy a bunch of poison. The poison will carry me through regardless. What are you doing right now? What is this? Huh? Parry? Oh, right, okay. That's fine. Okay, bunch of poison. Oh, don't die. Good, there it is. Whew. Okay, barely won that. Yeah, I did the math wrong in my head. I, I almost had it, but I forgot that I'm, if I'm doing if attacking twice here, that that doesn't quite work the way that it would. Um, so now we, we want to rebuild this into the block. Okay. Besides that, this looks okay. Whew. Yeah, close one. Poison equal to your burst. Eight burst and stealth. Poison equal to your burst. But then this is 12. Actually, doesn't work. No. Then this, this, redoes the poison. Plus six burst. Chain train or chain potential? Maybe chain potential. Chain potential to apply six burst and then eight more burst and then we hit into this. That would work. Because this would be six, this would be 14, and then 14 onto this, yeah, crazy damage. And then we just go into um, shielding. Probably want to amplify the shielding first. Closest chains, chain card on my left? No, these are chains, are they? No. So we're gonna do, we'll just have this be a damage card or something. Chain drain. Reduce their strength. Let's do that one actually instead. Shield and then reduce their strength by whatever damage I've done and then amplify again. Okay, good. Try that. Try that. Could work. All right. Little tricky. Rebel map. Thank you. Nice. Recycle a bot. We have four cards for it. Very good. Oh, I don't want to do chain train in there though. Dang. Okay. Um, chain venom I'm okay with. Patient blade. Oh, kind of a bummer. Chain potential. Uh, for the six burst. I kind of like that. Chain train is nice for the copper generator. Hmm. Tricky. It's coming together. I really wanted the copper generation thing, but I don't know if it's actually going to happen. Um, okay. We're just going to feed it. 12 damage. Apply poison equal to your burst. I don't need that one. Chain train is, is actually really nice, though. Target strength by damage dealt to health. Six burst. Uh, six damage. Six burst. I could get rid of metal chain. <laughs> it's kind of a crazy thought. But I, I, I can revive myself. That might be okay. Give me something good. Oh, Envenomed 3. I just got it back. Whatever. And Patient Blade I got back. Okay. I got back better, better versions of what I had. Gathering Power. At the start of combat, if you only have one damage card equipped, double the damage of all damage cards for the rest of combat. Dang. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. <laughs> this would be so good. And it also, on the, on the next character, it would be crazy too, wouldn't it? So, we're saying I have to get rid of all of these, though, somehow. Okay, we'll try that. <laughs> Traveling card. Okay, this would be so powerful, though. Double the damage. So, we just go heavy into burst, but we... Uh... So, shield and stealth is an option. Burst, vulnerable, and taunt. So, this is the start of that. So we'd say Shroud of Darkness gives me burst into this. So and so then we'd have to do burst, vulnerable, taunt. 12 poison, poison, strength, armor. That kind of works. Uh, what is this? Shield and stealth? Okay. It's on sale. Oh, I can't afford it though. Dang. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can live with that. So, okay. What if I just had these three? Is that... Is that okay? So okay, you only have one damage card equipped. Dang, I have so many damage cards right now. Burst and stealth, burst and vulnerable. Boom. Doubled up the strength of it. Gosh, I need money. Oh, I need copper now. Uh, okay. Oh, I can sell cards though. Oh, I can sell cards. 
Chain Drain, hmm, Patient Blade, 30 damage, every second increased by 45, increased to 45, 12 damage twice, I think this is better, we'll do, just twice means burst goes crazy, I think, I think it does, um, train, Chain Drain, I just close this chain to my left, Chain Potential, do this one, wish you had Metal Chain now, <laughs> yeah, I think it'll, we, we'll have enough, we, we'll be able to get what do I want here? What do I want? Envenomed. Yeah. Chain drain. Four damage. Reduced target strength by... Okay. Metal chain. So I want poison, strength, armor down. I want both of these cards. Can I get both of these cards? 30 and 20 need 50. I have to sell both of you. I can live with that, I think. Bye bye. 20 and 30. Shield and stealth feels like an okay idea. And then strength and armor. Okay, that's fine. It's not the best build ever, but we're going for this gathering power. <laughs> okay, you're going to double though. Start of combat, if you only have one damage card equipped, double the damage of all damage cards for the rest of combat. <sighs> this is only on this character though, right? Or is it on both characters? And then, does the other character have to have no damage cards at all for this to work for both characters? Assuming that's true? Probably not. It's probably only for this character, I would think. Uh, what do you got? Eternal Dojo. Oh, yes. Good. And then... But that's going to give me... I don't know if I even care about those cards anymore now. What's the point of that? <laughs> only counts the same character? Okay, fair enough. Um, I don't think Eternal Dojo does anything for me at this point. I guess it gives me extra cards. Or it could go to Ruin. I think I'd rather go to the Ruin. Poisons and depletes your strength, or gets pumped at start of combat, dealing more damage and taking less damage first cycle. Oh. I could maybe live for one cycle, huh? Um, We'd probably have to do this, though. Make sure we have some shield at the start. I want to go Eternal Dojo because I've never done it, even though technically I think the other route is better. Okay. We're going to give ourselves some block. We're going to amplify ourselves. And then now when I attack, 17 and 17. Hmm. Okay. What just happened to me? I revive, though. If I need to revive, I can. 8, 14. And then 37, 37. Very good. Okay, come on. Poison. Hit. I die, but now I'm going to finish you off. Shield. Oh, I'm taking some damage. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. What's happening? Come on. There it is. What were you doing to me? Oh, okay. Whew. Oh, right. I take every turn. I take a bunch of damage. That's what's... I, for, I forgot about that side of um, Life Elixir. Each health you reduce... Uh, to, oh, so reduce to zero, restore 100 health, then take 25 magic damage at the end of every turn. Spooky. Eternal Dojo it is. Right. All right. Give me something. We meet again. The abilities you showed me were very exceptional, but I was able to improve them even further. Nice. Chain gain two, four copper, just as I thought. Not even going to use it. <laughs> 12 poison and minus four bolstering. I kind of like reducing their strength, though. Shielding gives less shield or reduce incoming damage. Uh oh. So negative two armor. Hmm. Or they can't put as much shield. Strength down. I don't know, actually. They can't get as much armor, or they can't do as much damage. I actually don't, I don't know which one's better here. Honestly, neither one of them really stack that well with what I have. I probably won't use either permanently. But this is a level... They're both level 2. As, oh, they're both level 2, so they're meant to be somewhat similar in power, I suppose. Alright, wreckage. We'll take the full string rather than the strength and armor. So we can't get... Armor, I think, is more universally powerful, but bolstering is now minus four. But strength is also really good. Uh, I don't know. Okay, carry on. 74 gold. 18 burst. Oh, nice. Here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Doesn't matter. All right. 18 burst it is. 10 damage, activate all chain cards. Oh, bond breaker, there you are. 36 damage, execute. Yeah. Shadow Dance, 18 burst, 
and then eight burst. So now we want to. Next attack. I like it on the end, I think, because I want to do this attack semi early in case enemies. Um, in case enemies scale up in some weird way, I don't want to wait until the end. So I'm gonna. I don't. I think stealth isn't really gonna do anything for me. The shield is nice. Hmm. I just want to make sure if if an enemy is like a kill them fast enemy, I want to hit them early. Then again, 18 burst is really strong. Should this just be at the end? Uh, do I restock here? I don't think so. I'm not going to be able to afford anything if I do, so we hold onto our gold. I could sell, but no. I think we carry on. Only sells for for 10. Ooh, maybe I should have sold and tried to try to grab more cards for my character here. Uh, okay. Gladiator builds shields and slams you down for Druid. Scaling build. I'm going for damage. I think, I think this character will do a lot of totems with, so we'll probably take them. All right, carry on. Boom. 24 damage if stealth double the damage. 10 poison all enemies gain stealth. Oh, I don't want any of these. Activate this twice. Kill shot. 24 damage. Actually, maybe. Actually, might be better. Instead of 12, it would be 24. And I don't care about stealth. So say you do 24 plus all this. If it activates twice, will I use burst on the first but not the second or use burst on both because I don't know if activates and damage twice is the same I think it's not the same to be honest but we'll see spiritualist mmm tricky woman sits in the crater all right am I are we gonna fight completely completely desolate there's no life at all a true tragedy all right do should I oh so we got to fight you backstab go infinite oh Oh, it does. It probably does. Yeah, you're right. Um, the problem is, it does 24 damage plus whatever burst first, but then the kill shot will activate it again, and if it's activated again, the burst will be gone. That's my problem. Um, that's my problem with backstab. I don't know if it'll work. Whereas I know this one will work. It does It, it does activate. It doesn't need to activate twice. It does. Um, no, it, it does activate twice. So kill shot, kill shot is what allows it to keep going. Um, so on the first attack, it attacks plus the burst. It kills somebody, but then on the, uh, but then it activates again because of kill shot. And then on the second attack, it maybe doesn't have burst. Um, we'll activate twice, so it will do two times twenty four on the second time around. But I've got burst right. Burst lasts for the entire turn. Oh, it does. Oh, okay. I thought burst dropped off on attack. Your next attack deals x additional damage then is reset. So it shouldn't last for the entire turn. Unless maybe that's um, a mistype. A change of tone. Interesting. Let's do this. We'll see. I mean, it's not. I, I'm not going to be able to see it here anyway, but maybe on, a, maybe on future enemies. For here, it's just good. No, I should have changed him out. I should, I, I should have used the other card. Um, that's fine. Because for this, for this enemy, because there's only one enemy, it actually doesn't... It's only going to do 24. It's only going to attack once. That one. Dang. Ah, oh, I should have done the other one. Uh, can you activate stack if you kill enemy faster? You, um, no. Because, um, you only get one extra attack. Um, like, you have to kill the enemy in order to get this to activate. Let's see. Dang. Ah, oh, if I had switched these out, I would have won. I'm going to lose this for sure. Dang it. Ah, oh, dang it, dang it, dang it. Well, I guess, yeah, no, I'm definitely going to lose this, because this, this, uh, the other card is, is way better against single enemy. I didn't think about that. Mm. No, you don't. Um, you get one. Activate, wait, you're saying activate this twice? I think it's saying, wait. You might be right. That's fine. I was, I, I, sh I should have traded these out. This is such a, this is a way stronger card, assuming, um, wait. Oh, I lose and I have to do it again. Okay. Ooh. Activate this twice. That's interesting. So you're saying it gets two extra attacks. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, okay. I was thinking you were saying activate this card twice. Um, not kill shot. Activate this twice after killing. Um, okay. That's interesting. 12 damage twice. Gain stealth. That is actually really strong. 12 damage twice. Gain stealth. 
Now I'm in a weird little predicament because I've lost there, and I don't know if I want to fight that enemy again, even with 12 damage twice. Ooh, gain stealth. Wait, no, this is the same card now. Uh, 24 damage, kill shot, X damage to all enemies. Um, 8 damage, so each none of these work for me. Damage to all enemies, gain poison. 24 damage, chain, gain stealth. No. To all enemies, equal to target's poison. X damage to all enemies, equal to target's poison. Okay, it doesn't matter. Whichever one. All of them are bad. So if I go Spiritualist again here, do I lose again because I did... Because uh, this is a better card than Backstab. Mm, I might win here, actually, because I'm going to I'm gonna stack Bursts. So this will do 30-something extra damage twice. That might be strong enough to kill Spiritualist. We'll try. We'll try. Try again. Also, if I only have one damage card... Equipped, double the damage of all damage cards for the rest of combat. So this should do 24 at base, actually. Right? 24 plus... 18 plus 6 plus 8. 8. Uh, backstab, you could activate kill strike. Before backstab, you can activate kill strike. I don't think that. I think you have to kill it with that card. Um, what do you mean? Before backstab, you can activate kill strike. You you have to you have to kill with the card that you use. Is that's kind of confusing. Six burst. Okay. Eight. Six. We're at 14 plus 18, so 20, 32. 32 extra damage, uh, plus it already has double damage. So 24, 32, it should be doing 50, pl well, plus attack versus defense is also important, to be fair, but 50-something damage. And then 50-something damage twice is the idea here. Okay. Try this again, but this time with double attack. Um, more damage and kill strikes, easier to kill enemy. Stealth give you double damage? No. Um... Stealth just means that they don't attack this character, they attack the other one. That is a common thing, though, to be fair. Um, okay. Add burst, we're 32, so we should be doing... Yes, 50-something damage a shot. There we go. Activated. Good, 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 good. Okay, just got... Oh, time. What does time... What does time mean here? Oh, ignore 50% of enemy damage at the end of cycle. Take uh, ignore damage right. Because I'm not healing, but I'm not getting any benefit to this. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose again. Ugh, dang. Gosh, they're so strong. What the heck? Okay. Come on. And I. Oh, and I auto die. Right, I die. Come on. I don't think it's gonna happen here. No, I'd have to. Ugh, dang. Gosh, they're so much stronger than me. Ah. <sighs> okay. It's also interesting that they're no longer like when you lose to them, you you carry on. You now you now just die. Hmm. That's fine. We'll go again. So I think I think the economy stat was probably a bad way to build at the beginning. Self doesn't give double damage. It's just uh, just the one card. So you just use one card. Uh, yeah, that is a strong character. We're fighting one of the playable characters. Um, it, you get the character after that point. Although at the beginning, um, when you fight the character, if you lose to them, you carry on. It's kind of strange that you don't in this case. I can I can scale to be stronger than that character. I really felt like oh this build was good though, with all the bursts on a double attack. Hmm. But maybe not. Apply 10 poison and give them plus 2 health. I could go a poison build. Give them plus 2 health. 6 damage, repeat damage for each consecutive chain card before this, or 8 damage, chain 8 poison. I don't think a thousand cuts is a very good card. Unless you upgrade it, maybe. Uh, spikes counters, you write. Um, oh, spikes might. Well, I don't think Spikes counters me that much. I'm only attacking twice in a whole turn, whereas normally you could have up to five attacks in a turn. Um, change a lot of stuff around in the patch. Fair enough. If you lose to a boss, you don't get it. Yeah, that makes, that's fair. I guess, yeah, it's weird they count as a... I guess it makes sense they count as a boss. So, Thousand Cuts. Is there a way for me to... I want to get I want to get Druid and then Warrior. Maybe I should go with Warrior first. Six damage, repeat damage for each consecutive chain card before this. Yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, chain Poison. Do you think so? Chain 8 poison. I could go with chain, or just, or just, but I could just apply 10 poison to them. The chain stuff is hard to rely on. You only get it once if you have chain before. Yes. Um, you have to have a chain prior to it. The card itself cannot activate things in chain. Um, if there's something after it, if, if it's the first card, it doesn't activate itself, but the next card will be activated because there's a chain before it. 
Uh, I don't know if Chain can activate a card after in any type of way. Repeat damage for each consecutive Chain card before this. I could put this on the end, and then all these Chains could make this do a bunch of damage, but it's not going to do that many damage. Really good with Burst, if you have four Chains before it. Hmm. Oh. Okay, I can try going this... If I'm gonna, I could try the same type of build again, only this time with Thousand Cuts instead. That could make sense. Although I don't know if there's that many Burst Chains. I know there's at least a couple. Ruin or card pack. Hmm. Go card pack. 5x burst damage requires a lot of setup. True. That would be difficult, but it could happen. Here it is. Chain potential. Chain plus 6 burst. Uh, chain gains stealth. I don't want that. Okay. Okay, we have our first card for that. Carry on. And then if I, get, if I can put two of them into the dojo, then I could get something pretty strong. What if you play 1,000 cuts first? Uh, it, it will work. Um, it'll just do six damage. Each executive chain card before this. Although, it is kind of interesting. If you put it first, before it would, wouldn't, it wouldn't happen this way. But, like, you can kind of see with, with chain, because you have a chain card here, then the chain allows for this card to play, but not the other way around. Kind of interesting. Yeah, there's no way around that, though. Uh, okay. Hidden. I could go the hidden event to try to get either dojo or, um, Either Dojo or the, the Rebel Map. Rebel Map is really strong. I don't think I go Ruin. I think, yeah, I think I go to the right side here. Cyber Sloth. I also think I should have added a lot more attack and stuff to my character. I think not doing that might have been part of the reason that was such a struggle. Because I think, yeah, the first time that I played, I added a ton of attack to Warrior. Okay. Now we, we, we just have to make Burst happen, though. We don't have any chain. We don't have enough, enough chain right now to do a ton here yet. But. Okay, come on. There you go. Hmm, chain can go around cycle, could work, it doesn't work because Thousand Cuts counts chains activated for it, yeah. It's only, uh, for Thousand Cuts it's specific to this cycle, um, whereas in, uh, and also, even if, even if it did work that way, they have to be consecutive, so if you had one, two, three, four, it would activate, and then that resets the chain anyway. So there's no way around that, even if, even if it did work that way, but it, it doesn't. Um, numerous workshop. But there might like if there were one that if there if there were one that said before this and it wasn't consecutive, then that could be confusing. I can see that. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's do this. So we want two boosts, and I kind of feel like we want to go attack here. Skill. Skill. Skill works with burst, right? Which is kind of weird because burst is a flat number. I feel like that's. But it, I guess if it, if it works, it works. We'll grab some skill, and we'll grab any attack. Any plus three attack, plus three defense. Ooh, minus four health, plus ten attack. Really good. Cards that activate other cards twice. Yes, but I, the only one that I know of is the one that activates a chain card before it. Imagine twice, thousand cuts. Yeah, it'd be pretty strong. Skill works with burst. Uh, should should have dealt 100-ish damage, not 50-ish. Skill works with burst. Oh, okay. Right, okay, gotcha. Then I'm going to go hit an event. But but they would also have, def like, their defense would stop some of it. I'm not sure in terms of the dealing damage. You stumble upon a heavy crate. It bears an emblem you do not recognize. Maybe if I strike with the blade, I'll open. Uh, lock of the crate is almost rusted away. It gives away immediately. Rebel map. Good. Good, good, good. Love the rebel map early. All right. And we have a little gold. If I can find anything here. Here's our, <laughs> here's our copper. Uh, reduce target strength. Um, sure. Chain Drain is kind of good. It's on sale. We, we should probably get it regardless so that we can activate the burst and carry on. All right. Chain Gain. Chain Drain. Oh, Chain Gain. Oh, Chain Gain returns. Yeah, I don't I don't know if the two extra copper... It could potentially be worth it, but I think we just need to activate burst and the sale. On sale card is probably a good call. Arachnid Ball. Mark location. We go with mark location. Poison to please her strength. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll manage. Because I'll have burst to keep me company. And I'm going to have a ton of initial attack here. Poison and less strength. It is what it is. Give me some burst. And then this is going to attack a bunch. Good. Okay. This works. Just need to keep amplifying the amount of chains that I have. And trying to go for burst chains whenever possible. Okay. A dojo to upgrade thousand cuts and chain potential could be good. If I can find that, maybe it's worth it. Okay. Rebel Location. Let's do this. What do you got? Rebel Location. Cards grant 50% more shield in the fifth slot. I mean, not super useful to me here, but I can see that being really useful on a 
on some builds. All right, hidden event. What do you got? Imagine a dojo. No. Touch a symbol and gain a card infused with its power. Mind. Mind or what are you? Your death and blood. Death, blood. Hmm. Mind is the closest I am right now. Okay. I know I'm going to use Thousand Cuts, and I know I'm going to use Chain, chain Potential. I don't know if I'm going to use Chain Drain forever, but... Oh, well. Acid Wall. Next time you lose health, apply Poison equal to 50% of lost health to a random target. Hmm. Oh, well. Not really that useful to me. Um, I mean, Poison's not terrible, but a Chain would have been nice. Traveling Merchant. We can get something at Traveling Merchant, though. We got 87 gold. Could be enough. We could also sell Acid Wall if I need to. What does Mind do? For each element, give all heroes X strength and armor. So I could give them, I give myself one extra strength. That's actually kind of nice. One extra damage on each shot. A lot of shots. Uh, let's see. Chain. So I wouldn't go for 12 initial trap, 10 damage, 12 damage, gain stealth. I could get the poison one. I could start poison a little, maybe. Poison equal to 50% of health lost to a random target. Hmm. I'm torn on this one. I kind of want to just restock this. Not in love with any of that. Apply six poison. Uh, apply the target's poison to a nearby enemy. That's kind of nice. Uh, for a poison build, but I don't know if it works here. Into burst at the start of the turn. Oh, that's nice. Although that doesn't work with this. The start of the turn doesn't really work. Kill shot. Uh, do I restock again? Uh, I don't like any of this. Restock. I think that's the last restock we do. And if I don't, I don't think I'm going to see anything here. Poison. Apply poison and burning. Six poison, negative two bolstering. Yeah, none of this is really fitting. Ah, gosh dang it. Do I take gory slice? X e health equal to enemy attack. I mean, lost by attack. Um, it's mind. Blood. This would be blood. Dang. Okay. Maybe I take this one. Be better than my strike, anyway. It's on sale. Just because I, I want to make sure I have enough that I can... Um, put the gory slice in the end. I want to make sure I have enough that I can... Um, I can go to the Recyclotron if I need to. I don't want to buy anything else, though. No. If stealth double the damage, that's kind of cool. But I don't have any stealth right now. So this, this this card makes stealth do that double damage thing. All right. Probably not going to go Recyclotron if I can avoid it this time. Good. No Recyclotron. That's good. I could go to Element Draft, Death, Moon, Body. This is Moon. So I, or, wait, no, this Death. I want to go for Death. So I go that way. Or I can go Hidden Event, Ruin. Gains shield over time and attacks you with it, if not kept down. I can keep you down really easy and go to death or go for hidden event. I think we take Mecha Bird. I like the hidden events, though. The events are really nice because some of them are so strong. But I think the card is probably better. Okay. Burst. Oh, burst on a thousand cuts. Good. 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 Okay. We're good. Hit. Yeah. Your shield is not going to be strong enough. So you attack based on shield. X damage twice twice equal to your shield. Got it. Okay. Burst, and then we just finish you up here. Bang. Easy. Oh, not quite. Okay, next time. There. Boom. Okay. 35 copper and numerous workshop. I need... Ooh, attack is good. Okay, six attack. And do you have any skill or attack... Health, attack, defense, attack, skill, health, skill. Maybe skill here. There. Okay. What do you got for me? Death, probably. So we're going to go with death, and we're going to hope for the best. Death. What do you got? Activate this twice. Backstab. Hmm. Backstab can be really good, but it doesn't help with the bosses. Six damage twice gains stealth. Six damage apply poison equal to your burst. None of these are good. Uh, how close are we with death? Not very. 
Dang. Um, yeah, I have to figure out which cards are which. Maybe it would be good to keep note of, of what the burst cards, what type of burst cards are. Activate this twice. Gain stealth. Stealth doesn't do much for me right now. Six damage twice versus the block. Six damage, poison equal to your burst. I'm not going to have any burst. Twelve damage, kill shot, activate this twice. Six damage twice, gain stealth. Kill shot. I guess we'll take this one. Okay. Uh, okay, carrying on. Traveling merchant. Hopefully we get what we need here. Traveling merchant, give me something chain. Chain, apply vulnerable. Really nice. Uh, vulnerable is really good for me. Increased damage taken from attacks by 33%. Very solid. We'll take that one. So... Chain Drain. What does Chain Drain do? Reduce target strength. I think I, I, the burst is more important. You hear Chain Maim. Apply vulnerable. Nice. And then burst and then hit. Good. And this will do four hits now. Another chain would do five. So we should probably go for that. One restock. Okay. Ten damage chain struggle. I don't want struggle. Uh, do we restock again? I'm not going to be able to afford it, I don't think. Apply six poison minus. Uh, I have. I can. I'm, I'm good to get rid of all of these cards, so I'll just leave it here. I don't want to get any of these. I could get the the struggle because it would amplify things a lot, but oh well. Carry on. Slimes hidden event muscle memory station to upgrade. Imagine upgrading thousand cuts, or marked location. But thousand cut upgrade would be awesome. <sighs> marked location, rebel map, something valuable. Or muscle memory. I think we gotta go muscle memory. Upgrading that would be broken. Okay. Boom. Okay, you're vulnerable. Hit you. Give me burst. Oh, these guys might kill me. Hit, hit, hit. Gone. Okay, good. Good signs. We don't have much to survive this guy with, though, to be fair. Hit. Oh, I'm losing health. I'm burning, that's why. Burst. You're gonna hurt me. Come on. There it is. Oh, narrow, narrow, narrow. We're always getting these narrow wins. Um, all right. Let's see. 35 copper. Oh, that was a close one. We win, though. I still have three health, so good for fighting the final enemies. Attack up. Attack up. Probably double attack here. Defense. No. Six attack and ten attack. Lose a little health. Gosh, we are, we're, we're trading health like crazy. All right, uh, muscle memory station for a single for a single attack ending. Probably gotta go with thousand cuts here. It's gonna do so much damage. Doubles the damage, and then same output, same same concept. What does this do? Twelve burst. Hmm. What is there? Is the math? I mean, the math is it's pretty tied up on math there, right? It's because it'd be six damage. It'd be 12 damage instead of 6 damage 4 times versus, once again, 12 damage instead of 6 damage 4 times. But this this also gives more damage to itself, whereas this one doesn't have any other benefits. So technically, chain potential is stronger here, isn't it? Although, yeah, there's no getting around. I think chain potential is stronger no matter what. Even if I add more bursts to this, it's a, the burst is a flat number. Yeah, I think we, we probably need to go with this one. Chain potential. I think that I think I did the math right there. I think that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Hello again, friend. Plus, um, plus the damage. I'm pretty sure skill doesn't amplify damage at all. Attack does amplify damage, so there's some potential to say it would be better to increase the attack because the attack would be increased more by the attack stat than the burst will be by skill stat because my skill stat's lower. There, you know, it's possible. All allies gain plus twelve burst and stealth. Excellent. That's all I need. Not on sale, but what can you do? Get rid of gory slice. Move thousand cuts. Move them all over and just do Shroud of Darkness at the beginning. 12 strength, 12 burst strength, so we want to make sure these are in order outside of that. Is 12 extra damage per attack? I guess if I if this was up to 12 damage, then it would be equal to remove this and have a chain there. Um, but because this is 6 damage, the 12 burst is better here. Yeah. Because having a burst here, having a, having a chain here would only do 6 more, whereas having this here does 12 more. Oh, wait, but then, actually, this should be, this should be here, 
because this will do three, 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 and then, and then the twelve instead of twelve, and then twelve gets added to chain drain. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All good there. Do I sell something here? I could sell something, get a little gold. Because I have enough. I have more than enough right now. We'll probably sell the strike. Leave shop. Because I have four cards to get give away. Uh, where am I going to give them? Where's my Recyclotron? Gosh dang it. Okay, that's fine. We'll go left side. Centipede. Parry after losing health. Hit. It's okay, because this will attack a million times. So there's, there's no real reason to move things around. Attack damage is dealt equal to shield. It dealt to shield before health. Okay. Guards grant 50% more shield on the fifth slot. Yeah, this this is super useless to me. I might even just get rid of it now. Give me that health and defense. Probably worth it. Rebel map I can hold on to. Okay. Centipede. Here we go. Alright. Oh, not sure if Thousand Cuts. I'm sure it does, because the other... It did... Um, the attack twice worked with this, so I think Thousand Cuts probably does too. If it doesn't... Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. Okay, science time. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Okay, so... Ah, oh, dang it. Fair enough, fair enough. We learn. Dang, that's really weird. Repeat damage for each consecutive chain. Ha! Huh. Okay. We lose one health. We lose one health. Can I attack you again if I haven't beaten you? Because I would want... How would I move this around at all? I would just want to make Thousand Cuts happen, so instead of... I would take Chain Drain off, and this would do hit, block, hit. No. Ah, oh well. I would love to get your rewards. Oh well. Okay. <sighs> it's interesting that it doesn't work with Thousand Cuts, but it does work with um, with the double attack thing. Because I'm pretty sure um, Shadow Strike, six damage twice, does function. The first hit goes in, the second hit doesn't, or vice versa. Which I wasn't expecting when I used it. I actually didn't count for that. Okay, upgrade. So I could upgrade... Let's see. I could upgrade this again to be 18, but that's not... Let's see, that would add 6. I could upgrade this to be 16. That would add 4. Interesting. Uh, with one click one click based on where I look. Uh, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, you got it figured out. Nice. 1,000 cuts. 1,000 cuts would add 6 to this per hit. This would also add 6 to this per hit and do the damage, though, so it's better. 6 damage apply vulnerable, 12 damage apply vulnerable, nothing there. Okay. So I guess that, yeah, we'd upgrade 1,000 cuts. No, we'd upgrade, um, sorry, we'd upgrade chain potential. 1,000 cuts doesn't activate more attacks because the chains aren't before it, and it counts only chains just before it. Oh. Hmm. It is before it. That's kind of confusing. Okay. To my left. It should say uh, consecutive chain cards to its left, I guess? I'm not sure exactly how you would reword that, but I don't think that makes sense. Um, first, okay. Upgrade this. It, it should work like you think, but it doesn't right now. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. We'll pull this down, move these in. Got it. So, hmm. Is there any way to make... So Shroud of Darkness can't work. Um, 18 damage. Burst. Okay. So if Shroud of Darkness can't work, then we just need a chain. That's fine, because it's only 12, so it's just as good either way. We just have to find a chain. We'll keep Shroud of Darkness for now, but it's not useful yet. Maybe, do, maybe even better to do block? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably. Okay. All right, buy cards for copper. Let's go. We need to get a chain from copper. 36 damage, chain gain stealth. That's not too bad. 12 stacks of random, but it's not the best either. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. It's, it's on sale. I'll grab it. And if I find something better, I'll use that. But we need a chain. Don't want to risk it. Uh, okay, restock. 12 poison, 20 shield, chain 20 shield. That's kind of nice. Better to use that or just do the damage, initial damage. 20 shield, chain, 20 shield. Reduce target strength by damage dealt. I I kind of think this is better. Move this over. We're not going to decrease their strength, because that's not very much. It's only dealt to health. 
It's only going to be two strength down. If I could upgrade this, actually, I could do burst onto this some which way, and that would actually maybe be really powerful, but oh well. So we got chain into chain, 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 hit. This would be four in a row. This one's going to give me a bunch of shields, so 40 shield. That's pretty strong. And then I can sell stuff if I need to. I don't really need to right now. We'll sell at the next shop if we need to. Eh, I'll sell a block. How about that? And maybe acid wall. Okay. Okay. This feels fine. Uh, chance to be before it. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, recycle a bot. Probably the one to go for. And mark location. Really lucky. Two carnivorous plants. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Because I'll, I should be able to. Well, one shot one. Oh, you're going to poison me a lot. Oh, you're not even going to bother. You're not even bother attacking. Oh, ho, ho, okay. Come on. You use your poison. We're at 40 poison, and then I finish one of you off. Good. Good, good, good. And then the next one. Yeah, the poison's not going to impact me until next uh, next turn, which will be gone for them. Good. Otherwise, this would uh, nearly kill me. <laughs> Oof. All right. Good. Continue. Imagine if there was uh, something to gain. Gaining extra strength here would be super valuable. Mark location. I need to get a... Uh... Actually, I really don't have any items. It's interesting, like, the different ways you can stack. So I've got attack up a lot, and I've stacked cards well, but just not really gone with items. Attack. Oh, gain shield on second cycle. Love it. Sure. It's not incredible, but it's not bad either. Recycle a bot. I should also... Should I get rid of rebel map when before I go into the second area? Does second area allow you to use rebel map even? Feed me. All right, let's do this. It's interesting. I was able to kill the rogue with the druid, but not the other way around previously. So maybe I'll do, I'll do one attempt at at druid, and if I can't beat him, I'll go with warrior, just because it's too dangerous. Uh, I'll always gain burst. Yeah, we gotta sell these in. Gory slice. I, in my head, when I put in the card there, I was like, the mouth is still closed. What if it doesn't accept it or something? Like, what if I put in too fast? But no, we're okay. Recycle. All attacks deal additional damage. When you receive healing, gain strength. Okay, if I had a chain that could heal me, that would be not a bad idea. Actually, that'd be really nice. Uh, instead of the shield, even. 18 damage, twice stealth. 48 shield, gain stealth. Okay, interesting. All bosses have six different builds, so it's randomized. Oh, good. Okay, so there's a chance. <laughs> so, you're, so you're saying there's a chance. All right, traveling merchant. Hello, friend. Gory Slice. Oh, if I can have a healer as the second... If I can have the other guy do healing like crazy, then I could really boost this character a lot. Their strength would be very valuable. Okay. Burning Poison. Do a restock. We need to get Burst. Apply Vulnerable and Taunt. We just need to buy it, I think, in case it's a Recyclobot at some point. And then uh, anything else here that matters? No. Another restock in case... 12 burst, gain stealth, no. 24 damage of stealth, double the damage. 24 damage. There really aren't any chain... Oh, there are chains that I can... Oh, okay. Hmm. Burst. I need a chain that doesn't do damage and gives me burst. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's going to happen, though. Uh, 12 burst, gain stealth. 24 damage if stealth, double the damage. No, nothing here. All right. I'll grab you so that I have my four leaf shop. Thank you, thank you. Okay, card pack. Probably nothing too impressive in here. Activate the closest chain to my left. No, that doesn't work. Apply 12 poison. Apply the nearest target's poison. Uh, 12 burning and minus for bolstering. Okay. I'll just grab whatever. None of those are good. Okay. Oh, these are different. Oh, yeah, these are different builds each time, which means that they have different names each time. Echomancer. Echoes many small attacks to gain an edge over time. I... I'm not too bothered by that idea. Maintain focus to gain an advantage. Okay, let's do Echomancer. Actually, but the, the character I get from them isn't amplified by whatever they have at all. There's no life at all. A true tragedy. Alright. Let's do this. I got it. I think I can win this. Thousand Cuts is really strong. 14, we gain some block. You're going to use Echoes. Ooh, you're really going to do some crazy damage. But as long as I can one-shot you, we'll be fine. Uh, and if I can't one-shot you, I don't know if we'll be fine at all. <laughs> echo, Echo. Come on. 
Oh, there it is. Ooh, okay, nice. Okay, give me this character, finally. <laughs> uh, yeah, honestly, any more than one turn against that character would have been it. As you stand before the defeated druid, she stops fighting back. Nice. Okay, we got you this time. Yeah, druids are strong. I respect your strength. All right, nice. We have a mountain to climb. Okay, so now I just go for a full heal build on the other character to amplify strength, heal, and maybe, maybe totems? A healing totem would be incredible. Imagine that. Okay, card pack. What do you got for me? Come on. Give me something good. We're going to do some nice builds here, please. Okay. Extrogen equal to strength. Hmm. Any spirit active activated again. Jungle power is kind of strong. If the, if the target has shield, 28 true damage instead. I like totems. <laughs> um, 12 damage. Passive, after activating an attack card, make an additional attack for 4 damage. Hmm. Activate it again. Are there spirits that help my other characters? 28 damage, the target has shield, 28 true damage instead. Hmm. Hmm. True damage. True damage is nice. Uh... 28 is also a pretty strong thing. I'm not going to build strength of this character. There's no point in that one. Double activating, though, is, is pretty good. Snake Spirit gives regen to all heroes. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, then we probably want jungle power to double activate Snake Spirit. So that we can get more regen. Yeah. Uh, card pack, I think. We, don't, we haven't gone to many ruins, but cards are pretty important here. Tiger... For each different spirit you have had this combat, 10 damage, no. 28 damage, remove spirits, no. Activate a random enemy attack card as if it was your own with increased damage. Okay, maybe. You can grab that. I used to be semi-pro at LOL, uh, at League of Legends. Uh, wow. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to go with Jungle Power Bamboozle. Activate it again. We'll activate this Fox Spirit. We can throw a strike on the end. Yeah, like this. Block. Activate a random enemy attack card. Honestly, maybe straight away with that. In case they have a really strong attack card. And then we'll activate the Fox Spirit. It'll be double activated because of jungle power. And then in future everything becomes stronger. Seems like it makes enough sense to me. Okay. Hmm. Wanna be healing, wanna be healing. Because imagine, imagine this with some extra strength. Oof. All right. Uh, marked location. So it looks like Rebel Map is still being very effective. Hmm. Bandit. Numerous workshop. Marked location. Merchant. That's fine. Blood Mage. Weakens you and drains your blood to heal. Hmm. Self-healing. I will just one-shot you, though, with Thousand Cuts. So I'm not especially worried about that. The problem is I don't know if I care about these. Light body, order. Mind, kinesis, time, sun, spirit, order, order. Uh, X friendly card is cast again. Every X friendly card is cast again. Oh, that's kind of nice. Let's go bandit though. Bandit time. Just got to get myself to a thousand cuts and we'll be fine. Oh my gosh. Why did you... Activate a random enemy attack card. You have a four attack card? What? Oh, that oh, that. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. Activate an enemy attack card. Pretty cool. Boom. Gone. 50 copper. Thank you very much. Yeah, this build is going to take me a lot further, I think. Alright. Hello, partner. Alright. What do you got for me? Bunch of attack. Probably the way to go. On to you. Health, defense, health, skill. Skill for burst, sure. Let's do it. Mark location. Map leads you to another crate. This build's really strong against single enemies, but you might struggle against multiple. Yeah, true. That's a good point. Hmm. That is a good point. 
decoy. Although, with multiple enemies, a lot of the time, if you can just kill one of them off really fast, things do go pretty well. When you fall below 50% health, summon a decoy and taunt. Oh, that's really good for me. I'll put him on you, because if you are close to dying, I don't want, I don't want that to ever happen. He has burst, he kills one enemy faster. Yeah. Um, okay. Traveling merchant. Hello there. What do we want? Poison. Okay. Chain gains stealth. Next time you lose health, apply poison equal to 100%. I want to be looking for druid healing. Plus six poison to you and all other enemies. X regen equal. But this doesn't. This is only for me. That gains the regen. I need uh, snake spirit. Poison. Tiger. Initial trap. Give them plus six health. Spirit tiger. Hmm. Tiger, what do you do? Extra attacks. That's not that great. Restock. Still still the same cost, so worth it. Turtle. After activating a non-attack card, gain shields. This is just on myself. Random spirit. Not a bad, a bad thought. Rejuvenation, snake. I'll always gain three regen. That'd be good. Oh, but Sunset Bloom doesn't work. Right, right. I mean, it works with snake, but the rejuvenation doesn't work because it heals the enemy. Fox. Give a random other ally plus two armor and plus two taunt. Don't really want that. Heal for 37% of your health loss this cycle. Ugh. Okay, but you'll give me the snake. Might be worth it just to go for that. You're not cheaper, but oh well. Okay. And we'll double activate snake, which means we'll double and then we heal a bunch. Okay. We'll activate this, the snake. I'll gain some poison and I will heal. Okay. Activate a random enemy attack card, then apply poison and heal. Then a bunch of damage. Okay. Hmm. We'll double apply poison. There'll be a lot of poison on everybody, but my except for my rogue, which is good. Spikes, turtle. Okay, so we have snake. What if triple activate snake? So you can only activate snake if you have one spirit. That spirit will activate once per cycle. Um, and then if you use jungle power, I can activate it again. But you can't. You can't have multiple of one spirit at a time. You can only have one. Plus jungle power allows me to technically have two, kind of. Heal more than you take damage. No. Um, the so damage for for poison is activated at the end or I guess beginning of a cycle, and then healing happens after. So you don't do it at the same time. Which means like before this card plays, I take the damage. Then the healing will pull me back. But if it's more than the health I have, it'll kill me. Uh, okay. So this is going to activate spirits again. Fox and snake. I need more. I guess turtle. After activating a non-attack card, gain shield. Okay. Spikes. Maybe. Or I kind of like this though. Nomad spirit. Because the odds of a new... It's always a new spirit. Um, we'll do that instead of strike because this isn't an attacking character. And then... Rejuvenation fox. Turtle. Okay. I could go with... I could move this here and do turtle for the spikes. And then add play two spikes to a random enemy. Ooh, I don't like spikes on the enemy, though. That's bad for me. I could do for each ally plus 20 shield. Huh. Yeah, very heavy shield character, maybe. Hmm. Turtle. So we have fox, snake, turtle. And then activating with jungle power. This could work. Problem is, I'll have a lot of poison on me, but that's okay. Okay, I just want to, yeah, I'm, this, this character is just going to scale poison onto itself and enemies, keep healing until it pops, and this other character is just going to try to survive with decoy. Okay. That works. That works. Heal more than you take damage. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so now I could fight, I could take on one exterminator to try to see how that goes for myself. There's a recycle bot there, so we want to go for it, and muscle memory station. This is a way better direction, and I'm really good against one enemy. So, exterminator, how much damage do you do? 40, 40 damage. 40 damage. Okay, I can live with that. Okay, come on, just let me live long enough to get my attack out. Attack the other character, please. Look, at, I'm going to do 40 damage over and over again, but if they can hit, if I hit the other character, I will summon some decoys. Look at all that look at all that defense on me. What's giving me all this defense? I guess it must be Holy cow. Yeah, that that was that went way better. Having two of those guys would be scary, but I could maybe manage it. I don't know. Could I could I defeat two at once right now? I'm not sure. Okay. Um feed me. Alright. 
throw in this. Anything, anything for my old character I don't want anymore. Just tell us. Yeah. All that gone. Recycle. And I'd rather put in my block and my strike into the um, create new cards thing. Apply minus three armor to all enemies echo. Ooh, wait a second. Wait a second. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, here we go. At start of combat, if you only have one damage card equipped. I don't, though. Ooh, I don't, though. That doesn't work. But I could put... I could put it on you. Yeah, it doesn't work with this guy. Mm. Unless I had chains. Instead of bursting, I could double the damage. That would technically be better, but I think I just got rid of all my chain cards, if I had any. Uh, that doesn't actually work. That doesn't actually work for me. Dang. Have any damage cards here? I do have one damage card, so we'll put it on you. Double your damage. Oh, it'd be so cool to do on a thousand cuts. But, oh well. Green bomb. Sacrifice meter isn't fully full when full. A good shielding with metal chain on rogue, turtle shield on druid. Metal chain. Yeah. Oh, true. This does double. Yeah, that does that a lot. True, true. All right. This, and then apply minus three armor to all enemies. Echo. Echo cards are kind of nice, but it's not really the direction I'm going. We'll take them, though. More cards for the future Recyclobots. Muscle. Let's upgrade. Upgrade something. Upgrade machines. I cannot deny the usefulness of it. All right. Should we put in this? Goes up to 24 burst. Makes enough sense to me. Although, let's see, this is six more damage. Um, it currently does one, two, three, four of a chain, so four attacks. Repeat damage for each consecutive chain card before this. I feel like I've seen it do more than four, honestly, but maybe I'm wrong. So four times. This is going to give me six extra damage four times. And this is also going to be... It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, it's still better to go with this. It's always going to be. Alright. Upgrade. Yeah. This is my, my ultimate move, so I've got to keep making sure it scales up higher and higher. Okay. I do think at some point it'd be good to swap out to upgrading something else, like some of these guys, potentially. But... Because if, if I... What if I can't get to the final shot here? Spikes, 28 damage if the target has shield, 28 true damage, spirit strike, uh, snake. 8 damage, apply 4 poison twice. So current snake is a heal. I think the heal's better. Each ally, including self, 12 damage. Okay, none of this is really working for me. Reroll. 8 health, 8 damage to all enemies, 18 burst, gain stealth. Wait a sec. Oh, ho, ho. shadow dance. You're not. You're not going to work for me. Because you're not a you're not a chain, could be cool. Could have been cool. Fourteen damage echo, twenty four damage kill shot. Chain cards in timeline. No, restock. Each true Vetrez deal five damage. Uh, all right, let's see. Restock this one more time. Sure, we'll do it. All allies gain eight burst and stealth. This would be nice on the other character. For each different spirit you have, have this combat ten damage. 14 damage if you have only used one spirit. 14 damage. Tiger, Fox, Rejuvenation, and Taunt. Where's my current Fox? I like copying the enemy, I think, better. Although Taunt isn't too bad. I don't think it's the one I want to go with. Summon a 16 health Elk Totem. It gains two Taunt. 16 health Elk Totem. I don't think so. I like the variety of spirits here instead. Okay. Leave shop. This feels fine. We'll go up to 20 each time. I don't want to spend more gold than that. Or more copper. Gosh dang it. Uh, centipede or mining golem. Muscle memory is probably the better one to go for. Recyclobot's really good. Hmm. Tough call. Ruin, recyclobot, or muscle memory for amplifying chain. <sighs> Technically, this is the easier enemy to fight, and then I get a hidden event. I haven't seen a ton of hidden events this side. Recyclobot's always always amazing, but upgrading cards is also super valuable, so let's go that route. Alright, what do you got? What do you got? Snake. Okay. You hit straight away. Just start strength. Okay. You copy their attack. So you're a high defense character. Tense shield twice, and then reflector. 
damage based on shield. So I just have to break your shield, which actually I might struggle to do because I'm not using... But actually, oh yeah, but my, my chain potential thing is strong enough that it is breaking your shield pretty well. That's nice. Then I gain a ton of shield because I don't even know why. Oh, did I actually? Oh, I used my thousand cuts and you survived it. Tough guy. All right. Okay, keep that healing coming in. Hit. Come on. Don't let him get enough defense. Shield. Oh, I have so much. I have so much shield. Doesn't matter. But yeah, chain potential for the 24 damage from that is actually so valuable. Okay. 50 gold. Thank you. And hidden event. What do you got? Approach a cloud of dust. Oh, here we go. Okay, take my block and my strike. Show me what you got. Show me what is available. Block, strike. Because it's a randomized, right? Except. I wonder if it's at all level based. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Twos. I mean, they're twos. Maybe if I had level threes in there, it would be higher level. I'm not sure. Spirit turtle, 24. Oh, because I might be combining the, the one and the one, maybe? Turtle, 24 shield, four spikes. Activation passive, gain shield. 24 shield, 4 spikes. For each ally, 20 shield. I could get spikes on you, that might be kind of nice. 12 damage to strongest and weakest enemy. I don't like the tiger spirit that much. Uh, apply negative 2 armor and 8 damage to all enemies. That's kind of nice. Reduce incoming damage by... So we'd increase incoming damage by 2 per hit, and I hit a bunch. Okay. Turtle. But... Protective Shell is nice, though. And if I get more allies, that gets that scales up, so I don't think it's worth it. Eh, none of these are that good. We'll just take Thorn Cage. Carry on. Alright, Muscle Memory. It's probably always going to be the best thing to just get Chain Potential up here for the insta-kill. 30 Burst is crazy. Patient Blade and Red Aura build is really fun. Yeah, I, yeah, I would imagine, yeah. Yeah, the Gathering Power and... Ugh, oh, be crazy. But, let's see. Jungle would give any spirit activate again. Okay, 28 shield. No, all these are single. All these are going to be single use spirits anyway. There's no way to double spirit besides jungle power. Random. With 6% increased damage. That's kind of cool. But no. No matter what, we go with this one. Unless there's something else that works. But, okay, upgrade. So powerful. 30 burst. All right. Traveling Merchant. Yeah, we do, I guess, need more Recyclobots so we can get really strong um, strong defenses there. What do you got? Anything? Poison, Shadow Strike, 12 Poison, Spirit Turtle. Mm, no, it's okay. Restock. 10 damage. Increase damage by 10 for each card between me and my nearest left Echo card. 30 poison, 6 poison to you and all enemies, X regen equal. I could stack poison on this other character and try to create a similar build to the last one, but I don't know how important that is to me. It's kind of tempting. It's not going to be a strength build, it would just be a poison build. To you and all enemies. 6 damage, to, six poison to you and all enemies, and get a bunch of regen going. A bunch of debuffs on... No, that, that doesn't work. Uh, bear totem... Hmm. I don't think poison really is the way to go here, though. I think the damage output is fine. It's more just healing I want to focus on. Healing and block. Hmm. I wish there was a way to apply block to my other character. Poison kind of works. Hmm. Say I, t say I did poison instead of... What would I do poison instead of, though? The snake? The snake doesn't really work. I like, I like the snake as is. And the snake is double activating. The fox. The turtle. Activate a new... What if I didn't set the turtle? For each ally, plus 20 shield. I could try it. Let's try it. We're, we're gonna try a little bit of a faster kill. Extra poison. The poison isn't that strong, though. Early grave needs to be strong. Like, I need to amplify it a lot more to make it powerful enough. But, okay. I could try it. I could try that. It could work. Okay. So then we would go to marked location. Let's see. Broodmother. Eggs and hatches. This is actually good for the early grave. So more poison onto enemies. And then... Hmm. 
We wouldn't have the turtle anymore. So less shield onto myself. It's nice having two characters so that damage is somewhat split. So that's the point of the shield, but uh, let's go this way. Broodmother. Let's try it. Broodmother. Okay. Snake. Okay. Spirit Snake should have activated. You and all enemies gain poison. Passive. Hmm. Okay. They're getting poison. Oh, you're doing some damage to me. Okay. Maybe it would be better to go with the shield here? I'm not sure. They got some poison on them, which is nice. Okay. There we go. Yes, you're nearly down. Okay, good signs. Good signs. Could still lose this, though. 45 shield. 5 damage. Pain. Pain. Come on. Did I, I already summoned my totem? Oh, no, there we go. There's the totem. Nice. Oh, that hurts. Wow, you're strong. Okay. Shield might have been worth it here. Yeah, I think the shield is, is better than the uh, poison. The poison is just not strong enough. Come on, come on. Live long enough to tell the tale. Okay, 59. One more attack. Come on, one more attack. Slam that guy. Oh, you slammed the wrong character. I would have won otherwise. Dang it. Oh, okay, jungle power. Okay, can I still scale poison, though? Is poison going to be enough here? 34, 17. Heal. Okay. This isn't going to happen. It's not going to work. Uh, okay, it's second death. That's fine. Poison onto them. You're going to pop. I could live. No, I don't think I'm going to live. 28 shield, 52 heal. Okay, maybe. Oh, yeah, because I'm healing from the... What am I healing from? I don't know what's keeping me alive. 42 damage. Come on. The poison's not going to kill you, though. It's not going to be enough. You keep summoning in. 42, 42. You're at 3 health. They're gone. I don't know. Can I win this somehow? I'm surviving surprisingly well with this. 38, 51, heal. 100 regen. What the heck? Okay. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Wait a second. How do I have 100 regen? Because of the poison amplifier. Oh, and if I have high enough health... Huh. Okay. I take it back. I take it back. Screw the shield. Who needs it? Uh, that is way weaker than having infinite regen. The problem is my I have to have higher health than they do, sort of. Still, that's good. For summoners, it's a little bit weaker because summoners can summon in new things. Ah, uh, jeez. Okay. Got it. Map leads. I must admit, I'm curious. Forcing off the lock, you open the chest. Three bolstering. Shielding gives X additional shield. Okay. That's fine. And the gold. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Element drafting. Moon and mind currently are active, and I like what I have, so I'm probably not going to change these necessarily, so I want... Uh, mm. What would I be most willing to change right now? I don't know. I think I think I like everything I have. What here... What's closest to being something I could use here? None of these are really close. Okay. Explode after cast, dealing X true damage to all enemies. Remember the damage dealt to enemies during cycle. Deal X damage to the remainder damage as an attack at the end of cycle. That's kind of cool. I guess we'll, we'll grab Cosmos. I don't know if I've ever used Cosmos cards, really. Or not much, anyway. What do you got? Fox Spirit plus six burst. Swap the slots to my left and right. Oh. That's sort of strange. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, I mean, it's nice because it would... Uh, uh, double? I don't know if the double would actually apply to this or not. But it might. It might. I think it applies first, and that, like, I think I think this doubles this first, and then this adds, not the other way around. Uh, swap the spots to my left and right. I don't think it really works for me. I don't really matters. Fox. Plus six burst. Activate a random enemy attack card with 40% increased damage. I kind of like that better. Penetration two. Gain stealth. 24 damage if stealth double damage. I guess we'll grab it. It's the, the only one I even could use, but I don't think I will. All right, carrying on. Are the grave scales out of control if you have enough health and can stay alive? So now we have, I guess, two builds going on. One health build, where I try to do as much as I can to kind of heal uh, with regen and everything in order to maybe help the other character if possible. Give a random other ally plus three armor plus three taunt. That doesn't work for me. Summon two random level three totems. Tiger plus X regen equal to your strength. Struggle. No. I guess I reroll. I don't have much point for my money right now because I think I have what I want. Vulnerable. Uh, there might be still something I'm missing. I'm not sure. If you only have one spirit used, 
uh, 21 damage. It feels like you can't have multiple of one card as well, which is interesting. Because, like, I wonder if you could have enough... Can your deck be full, or could you just stack up enough cards that you find everything, potentially? Um, could, like, I could just take all the sale cards to hopefully find all the cards in the game, maybe? Um, I kind of might as well try. I don't know what the max is. Another reroll. We're at 15 still. Summon a random level 5 totem. Wow. Kind of nice. 9 regen to all allies. Ooh, here we go. Give them regen. Really valuable. Spirit snake. Instead of healing. But I, the regen kind of takes care of that anyway. We'll take this. Pull you off. Give you this. This gives this guy more strength. Good stuff. Can't because we have way too many cards, but in theory you could. Oh, okay. Gotcha. In theory. Well, it's on sale. I'll take this one. I'll start that direction. At least increases my chances of finding the cards that I need. If there are any other cards I'm missing that are that are still uh, really solid for me. Okay, we carry on. Still an okay strategy. I wonder also what happens when I have enough cards that this goes off the screen. It's a bit concerning. Alright, two enemies. Their HP is linked and they quickly wear down all of your defenses. Interesting. HP linked is really easy for me, but I want the muscle memory station, so... I don't really need to go this way. Deals high damage applies stun. After reaching half HP in rages, gaining a high amount of health. This has the most chance to kill me of these two, but I don't care about this side. We gotta go the other way. Gotta get the upgrade. Because that is the ultimate way to win here. For sure. So what are you doing? You have a regular attack, some armor, regular attack, regular attack. Okay. So somehow you're applying stun to me, but none of those seem to. Or you can. Okay, apply some poison. Don't mind that. Hit. Really, no matter which one you attack here, I think I'm going to win because I have a lot of regen. It'd be very nice to have the revive thing on my poison guy again because that's that's pretty overpowered. Okay. Hit, hit. Hit, hit, hit. That's five hits. That's five hits. Why are you hitting five times? Isn't that five hits? It was hit, 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 hit. One, two, three, four, and then this. Damage for each consecutive chain card before this. Well, I'm not going to see it again. I'm not going to see it again because you're going to die too fast, but I'm pretty sure it was five hits, not four. Huh. Weird. Okay. It does one hit itself and four. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Makes sense. So it's one It's one more than I'm thinking. Yeah, one more than the chain. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, hidden event. And now we're scaling with strength because of our force of nature. It's really good. What do you got, hidden event? You come across a, a crumbling statue. It depicts a woman praying. Clutching between her hands is a small wooden token. Feel an incredible sorrow emanating from the statue. It's crying for help. The wooden token in your hands calling to you. Recognize your spirit. I shall take your gift and share the burden. Item carrying spiritual presence. Gotta take. Gotta keep this. Sure, it's important. Or I could just take three health and three attack. You never know. Muscle memory station. Okay, we're gonna amplify this up to level six if we can. We can't. Max level is six. Cannot be upgraded further. Unacceptable. <laughs> uh, then a thousand cuts is probably the next one to go for. Early grave upgrade. How much does that do? Nine poison. Start er, start grave earlier. If we start grave early enough, then we don't have to rely on thousand cuts as much. But thousand cuts is amplified by so much, it's probably worth it to just go with it. Hmm, it's kind of a tough call. It's kind of a tough call. But I think we... I think it's better to go with Thousand Cuts here. I'm a little torn because relying on two characters is better than relying on one character. But if I can't rely... like I And I also have lost the reliable character before. It's not impossible. But uh, eh, it's fine. 24 damage chain. Summon a 12 health bat totem to effect. Any of these. Probably just take whatever's on sale. Spirit turtle plus 4 spikes to all allies. X spikes equal to total spikes. Let's grab it. Restock cards. Grab everything on sale unless I see something better. Any spirit active, remove it and gain nine regen. I don't. I think I like to maximize spirits here instead of regen because I'll always have enough regen to battle poison anyway. So X damage equal to 150 percent of your totem's max health. Each ally, including self, 18 damage. 36 damage gain stealth. Okay, we'll take contamination. Oh, I guess I could run into an upgrade version of one of my cards, potentially. I don't know if you can. I, no, you can't. You can't. Right. That's fine. So we'll grab that, and then we'll just leave shop. 
Okay, we're starting to push the edge of the screen. Double damage, 1,000 cuts is crazy. It is really, really good, true. Um, technically, this is better because du it's double damage, but it's, it's plus 6 at a time, I think. What if it is double damage, though? That would be really good. Maybe I sh Like, mathematically, I'm assuming it's plus 6 every time for both of these, but it could actually be that this doubles every time. Okay, marked location, hidden event. Exterminators or blood mages? I guess we take exterminators here. I don't I'm not super partial either way. I mean mark location is technically a little better. Hidden event is can be really good. We have two hearts. Let's do blood mages. I mean I lost him last time, but I am a lot stronger this time. What do you do? Apply vulnerable and armor loss. Heal yourself and do damage. I can live this. I could probably beat these guys with this, right? This is a much stronger build build than before. You're only doing 20 damage a pop, and if I can get myself down to the end, I will destroy you. But 20 damage a pop is really strong. Okay, we're applying some poison and adding some regen based on poison. Every turn will regen going forward. 20 damage is really good. But I, okay, I'll get a totem partway through. That's one thing. Some shield. You're not down, but once I have one of you down, we'll be much closer to a win. 29 damage. Even if we lose, we have two hearts, so we can carry on. 56, 56. Okay, one down. Good signs. Throw you in. We have regen. And my regen against with poison can be enough to fight the other set. Um, I think. Okay, 7-7. Seven, seven. Let's see. Okay, 9. Throw up the totem. Didn't I already throw up the totem? Do I throw up totem every time? Every time I'm cut below? Oh, because I'm regening. So I'm cutting below over and over again. That's a good sign. So we just totem over and over. Nice. Okay, we beat these guys. We beat these guys for sure. 14 poison. Hit for 17. Give me below half health and I will throw up a totem. All right, here we go. Ugh. Yeah, these guys are really tough. But my strength is going up like crazy too. 10 strength. And we have 34 bursts now, so our next attack will kill you. Good. Right. Good choice. Yeah. You regen about 50% and fall below 50%, you get another totem. Yeah, such a cool thing. Okay. And then we just need a little bit more damage output and you're done. Boom. Gone. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, my my secondary character's uh, jungle power is getting boosted enough somehow that they're actually doing substantial damage. Oh, because maybe gathering power mixed with... I don't even know. Somehow they're getting strong enough, though. Uh, okay. We carry on. Mark location. We have defeated them and held onto our two hearts. The map leads you to another crate vibrating with strange energy. I must admit, I'm curious. Your Your shield is no longer reduced at the start of turn. I mean, sure. Yeah, that's useful. Probably on this guy. I don't really use shield on the other guy very much. Only a little bit. Gold. Not that you need it, eh? Alright. Uh, hidden event. Alright. Builds pretty crazy. Good synergies. I do think so. I do think so. I hope it works out. Spot an unfortunate soul lying dead on the side of the road. You notice great claw and bite marks covering the body. A clear cause of death recently. Those marks, they're unnatural. They have a piercing... They appear to belong beyond the flesh. Examining them closer, something is left beneath the marks. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, wait, it's just it's just scrap, but still. 15 attack. Probably best for you. Traveling merchant, what do we got? Hello again, friend. Uh, next time you lose health, apply poison. Turtle, X shield equal to your, lo your total. Double the effect of your current spirit, exhaust. Uh, kind of good, but I don't think so. I don't think so. We'll buy the we'll buy it though because it's uh, the cheapest one. Reroll. Uh, sale spirit snake twelve damage apply six poison twice. Uh, I like my current snake better. Regen. Shield armor spirit snake totem. Okay, then we buy the cheap one. Give me that. Reroll again, and one more. This one. Anything else in here I want? What do you do? Four taunt echo no. Random new spirit. A random new spirit. Ooh, that's nice. I don't have any other echoes, but I do like that. But it doesn't really fit in my build. I mean, it kind of does. If I get rid of the fox one, I could have two random new spirits each time. But I don't mind bamboozle, because some enemies that could be really useful against. All allies gain 12 burst and stealth. Hmm. Okay, nothing here. All right, leave shop. Look at my cards. Look at them extend into the game. <laughs> this could become a problem. All right, card pack. Let's do this. Pick one of these cards. 21 damage echo, totem, or 
Rejuvenation Snake. Sunset Bloom. <laughs> Hello, Sunset Bloom. I will never take you. Never. Uh, 24 Health Totem. 3 Taunt. That's actually kind of valuable. Oh, another one. Oh, one for my other character. Sure. Um, 18 damage, 12 Dark Symbols. And a burst at the start of the turn. Not really my thing. We'll take it, I guess. Okay. <laughs> so many cards, I can't even can't reach them anymore. So now, oh. Warrior and Rogue, something doesn't feel right. Warrior and Druid, something doesn't feel right. Uh, who am I? I'm less scared of the Rogue, generally. The Druid is really spooky, so we'll go with Rogue and Warrior. A man walks around a crater, bodies scattered everywhere. He seems to be searching for something. Hello, stranger. Care to join the fun? This isn't my kind of fun. As your eyes meet, his grin contorts to a serious and aggressive expression. I don't like that look on your face. Eliminate any resistance. You're in my way, druid. All right, let's do this. Okay, I think I can... Oh, that's a lot of health. Woo! But is your build strong? We will find out. Because my build is very strong. And I have two attempts at this if I need it. Little worrying, though. Little worrying. Because the last time I... Well, usually when I fight these sorts of things, it's a problem. But I think I'll be able to one-shot somebody here if I can just get to the end of this. And then the other guy's got no chance. Four strength. Hmm, this is a problem. This is a problem. Okay, Nomad Spirit. A lot of health, but they're really not attacking. They must be building into some stronger attack. Enemy is the same as ally. Yeah, it's a little strange, to be fair. I think they wanted to have two enemies at once, so... But, oh yeah, there could be some further story there. Oh, look at them attack. Look at them attack the totem. Yeah, it, there could be something story-wise there. I don't know if it's fully built in yet. Uh, okay, we have to get your health down below. Down below the other characters before you kill this one. Come on. We got good defense, but you do a lot of attack. It seems like, anyway. Nine damage. You're vulnerable. Good. Okay, throwing up armor. Please let me get to my thousand cuts, because I will destroy you. Good. Attack. 20 damage. Not bad. Oh, the health... The, the sound is kind of louder here. Ah, uh, not a big deal. Okay. You're gone. Epic music. <laughs> yeah, the sound in that in that room feels like it might be amplified a little too much. Yeah, so the idea here is they want us to have two, two to fight. I think in future, when there's more characters added, there'll be two unique characters there. But for now, we fight ourselves. Directive overruled. Or maybe it'll be the same and we'll do, uh, we'll do some weird timeline stuff. It could be cool. As you stand above the defeated warrior, he stops. Hold on, you win. What happened to you? I don't know. I felt a sudden urge to slash you. My mind is still hazy. I felt confused as well for a while. It's hard to put into words. My thoughts are conflicting sometimes. I need answers and friends. Will you help me? I'm heading to Imperia. Something tells me there's answers there. For some reason, I feel like I can trust you. Your spirit is pure. Then let's make the journey together. Good. All right. The idea is that it will be other players' builds eventually. So when you play and beat, your builds will be recorded and we'll send them against other players. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that'd be cool. Hmm. Allies uh, become mind control or allies. Yeah. Um, and then the ones that go there are the... Whoa, that can be kind of tough, though. That can be kind of a difficult thing. Because eventually players will generally become really... Some players become really, really good at the game. So it'd be hard to, like, kind of build around that. But, yeah. I can see that. Mind controlled by the AI. Hmm. Gotcha. All right. Continue on. We've, we've gained ourselves a warrior. We now have all three. And into the third chapter we go. But demo is finished. But that... I feel like that build was really something. I mean, so Thousand Cuts is really good, but I also feel like this other character had a pretty strong build, so either way could have definitely happened. Like, either one of these builds could have been the central build pretty shortly after. Thank you, thank you. There it is. Yeah. So this has been Reboot Heroes, and I'm excited for more updates to this because, like, the last one, so much going on, so much, like, interesting things, and I feel like I got a better handle this time around on some of the way that it works. But in future... Who knows? Who knows what could be added to the game? I'm also excited, I think, especially um, about some of the ideas around, like, the reboot uh, components here. So I called it regression in the title because it's, um, like, the idea is that on future runs, there's going to be some at least dialogue-based changes, depending on how you've done things in the past. I don't know how heavily that's going to play into the game, but I think that mixed with just the really generally well-built game that we have here could be pretty exciting. So, anyway, Ben Reboot Heroes, thanks for coming around. Appreciate you guys showing up. Thanks, Dario, for... Uh, showing up and chatting with me, giving me some advice. 
and let me know when there's more updates, because I definitely will take another look. But uh, if you enjoy these types of games and you want to see more of this game as well as others in its genre, be sure to subscribe, follow, all that good stuff, because I'm always looking for these types of things. I have a lot of them still in a list to, co to come up, and a lot of them that I'm monitoring and will be taking a look at soon. So thanks for showing up. Appreciate you guys coming around.